Wow. I'm doing a tweet. Wow. We're back. It's been it's wow. been a thousand years. A thousand years, Ben. I was there, Tom. One thousand years ago. I when, was there. When Tom and Ben used to do streams. They used to stream together. Those fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> um Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to... It's Tom and Ben on a Wednesday. Tom it's... and Ben. Ooh, that's a fun little treat. That's our new intro song. Is it? Can be. Ben. Tom. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. How's it going? Pretty good. Apparently, I've gone insane. But, what? You know, I'm sure I'll be back to normal soon enough. Uh, I don't know, this stream has always been pretty loosey-goosey. <laughs> We've been, like, hopscotching back and forth over the line of sanity for several years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so I'm glad it's back to, back to normal. Um, mm. Man, it feels like it's been a long time. It does feel, honestly, like a really long time since we've done this. Uh, what the heck? What the heck? Um, so, yeah, um, today we're just going to be we can. shooting the ship. Yeah, because I think we're probably going to do something pretty cool and fun and special in a couple of weeks' time. A couple of weeks' time. Because mm. we played a lot of Warhammer 1, and then we played a lot of Warhammer 2, and we and can't really went, talk about what we're going to... There were no more Warhammers after that. And we can't <laughs> really talk about what we're going to do in a, a couple of weeks' time. But mm -hmm. there's going to be uh, we're going to play a different game. Yeah, but we don't want to start something big now and then drop it immediately to do a cool new fun thing. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Just... Just chilling till then, I guess. Just chill until then. Um, <laughs> so yeah, today it's going to be kind of like a chill, sort of chatty uh, kind of kind of catch up. Ooh, oh, what's been going on? There's been so much hobby to catch up on. Tom. So much hobby. Games Workshop has been machine gunning out previews and spoilers for the last like four or five weeks, and we've not been here to make fun of any of it. What the hell? I know they they realised it's Jingle Jam, guys. They're not going to make fun of us. Quick, but, quick. release all the stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. they, won't, they won't be able to ridicule us at all. Exactly. Um, Whatever the um, Games Workshop version of Tom and Ben are, Neb and Matt were... Um... <laughs> Neb and Matt. <laughs> yeah. Those dicks. Um, Neb yeah. and Mott. Neb and Mott. They were just like, shovel it out, boys. We've got a, we've got a clear run for a month. Yeah, they, they, can't, they can't rip into us. Um, so yeah, what has what been, been going on? What is new? Oh. What is new, Ben? What is new? I did, an, I did a thing. I have news. 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 What, you did a Warhammer? I did a whole Warhammer. Wow. Do you want to see my Warhammer? Yeah. All right. Wow. That's one hell of a zoom. So um, I finished painting my Burning of Prospero loyalists. Wow. Look at these guys. I've got golden boys. I've got golden gals. <gasps> Um, and I've got um, boring old grey beardy boys at the back who are only there because they have to be. Wow. Wasn't interested in painting those. Um, but considering how little time I spent on them, I think they've come out pretty fucking good. They, man, they look, they look great. Um, it's one of the things that I really liked about the Custodies mm. was you can paint them to a pretty good standard with zero time or effort mm -hmm. um, and the fact that god you need like that right there that's 250 points of <laughs> yeah. an army like over that because you've given them um, as you know with the, the spears that's the cost yeah, oh, yeah 250 points of your army that's a quarter of your thousand point army well that's the thing because I finished painting five models. I painted these over like three evenings and now I'm like it's not going to why don't I just buy a couple of more boxes and have a whole a whole army of these guys if you have get yourself like a uh, like a character, like uh, just a standalone dude. Mm. He's like 150 points. Well, I did. And that's I got literally one of these custody models. Because they're I, the same models. I bought the the character box. I found someone on eBay who's selling it for a tenner, and it's the the chap and the lady together on their fancy bases. Do you remember that box? Um, oh, what's he called? Like Valerian. Yeah. And I oh mean, no, it's, that's not them. I'm getting a new. Um, New head for him because the head he's got sucks. Here he is. Um, so I bought these two. I haven't painted them yet. Cool. Because I just figured, why not turn this into like a thousand point army really easily? I'm um, 3D printing a new head for him because that's just boring as shit. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple more pictures. Um, 
I've realized now they look a lot like Austin from Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah, they really do. Maybe my commander should be a Smau or a Dreadnought. <laughs> Can be the Smau. That, that'd be him. super cool. Um, Dreadnought with hammer. Um, the sisters don't look quite as good because I did not spend very long on the cloaks. I need to like layer up those cloaks a bit more, really. I think they still look pretty good. My favorite part is... Um, oh, do I have... Wait, are you holding the mouse as well? Uh, I think we both have mouse control. Wait, hold? Oh, I've just got very limited... Little baby mouse, can I? Up oh. There. oh, there we go. Uh, this mold lion, Ben. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is my favorite conversion you've done. <laughs> is that like a scar <laughs> where they got hit by a psyker? Yeah, it's such a pronounced mold lion <laughs> that like... I'm wondering if I should paint the front of their as part of like a helmet, <laughs> and then the mold lion. It'll be easier to paint no, the front paint of the green, helmet. No, paint it green. Just one rogue strand of hair coming down. Oh, nice. That would be the easiest <laughs> yeah. way because then you don't have to do anything else. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and then I guess, you know, for all the furries out there, here's the space wolves that are just oh. have, have to be part of this army. Oh, I read, I read one of my, f of just such a, an amazing fucking rant. Um, ooh. ooh. Also, God, I, I don't know why I'm just being a dick now. Um, <laughs> I'm not zooming in on any of my models anymore. No, no. You can look at them like this. That's all you're getting. Uh, <laughs> no, like, I love, you know... Um, Boom, shoulder pads, you know, you've got the wolf, apart from this guy, who's the wolf is howling up at the moon. Which one? Oh, which one are you pointing him? at? I this can't guy. see your mouse. Oh, uh, top left. This guy? Yeah. Well, it's because his arm is moved. It's like... Yeah, but look at all the other mouths. Where oh, do they yeah. point to? Oh, I remember this one. Because look, you can even see part of the transfer is ripped off. Because <laughs> this you was... took your thumbnail to... This uh... one was like, oh, I kept trying to adjust it to make it less howly. <laughs> and then it kind of got stuck and ripped. And I was like, well, fuck you. You, if that's where you want to stay, that's where you could stay. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. He's like the wolf leader. Yeah. He's like the... Like, if they had musicians, he'd be like the howler, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, um. But no, it was um, someone on a... Uh, just... I think it's really because how it was written. Maybe the mm -hmm. internal voice... Um, because it's, how did you imagine it sounding? <laughs> uh, actually... Uh, <laughs> Because um. it was um, someone had put a thing up about how uh, basically all space marines are virgins. And oh yeah, because they're all you don't get turned into a space marine until you at prepubescence. You have to be like twelve before they take you because um, you have to grow into your new organs. A thing like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, someone wrote this big long rant about how. Actually, uh, space wolves, a lot of them are like 16 or 18 when they're taken. So they're not virgins. And actually on Fenris, um, they have sex a lot. And this massive rant. Ooh, typical of, space wolf player of response. About how, how all their space wolves are glorious Chad and boys. And they're not virgins. Um, and I thought it was just so comically written. It was great. It was just really, really good. So, yeah. Um, um, shit, it says I'm daff up there. It says you're daff. Oh no! But yeah, no, I saw the same Reddit thread, and it really made me laugh because <laughs> I love that just the offhanded nature of oh, lol, most Marines are virgins, and then how vehemently the Space Wolf players were like, "No, my no, Ragnar's not. not a virgin. <laughs> They're actually cool boys. They have a lot of sex." <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> There's a whole novel about how Lucius the Trickster just split someone in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his mega dog! He's got a mega dick! <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. So good. Boom. Mm. Good times. So, I, I played a game with these guys. <gasps> oh. um, we're going to do a proper, like, Burning of Prospero, like, narrative scenario. But nice. He hadn't finished all his army yet, so we did a little uh, kill team size game with the new kill team rules. And my friend Chris, he has done a really nice job with his... Um, Thousand Suns, and he started painting up some like Thousand Sun themed terrain for us to fight over. Mm. Uh, how do I? Why isn't this working? Can I just if I start on number one? Open then, the aha! There we oh. go. I can I can scroll. Um, so yeah, let me just show you the, his boys. He's actually done a nicer job than I have, I think. Um, but it's really nice to have. We've both got the same base set. We've got yeah, the right terrain. That's cool. Everything's painted. It was just really refreshing to play like a like a themed game rather than a competitive like pickup game. Yeah. You 
Yeah, they look great. They're really nicely done. And there's one of my boys skulking. Custodies don't skulk, Ben. No, they march gloriously. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see some of the transfers. They pop really nicely. Yeah, um, really good. Really cool. He has the power. I have the power! And uh, it's a really close game, actually. I, I do enjoy the new kill team rules. There's a lot I would change about them, and they're quite overly complicated in certain areas, but it is a fun game. I'll definitely play some more of it. I'm moving Pentagon! Oh, fuck ah, me, yeah. I'm ah. going to go with a square! Boom, yep. circle, dodge! <laughs> and we worked out something really dumb as well, because like Thousand Sons are slow boys, uh -huh. and so they're not allowed to move more than three circles in a turn. Right. But the movement rules say your move is three circles, and then you can do like a dash as an extra action. The dash lets you move one square. Square being slightly bigger than a circle. So their slow and purposeful rule technically doesn't slow them down at all because I haven't moved more than three circles. I've moved three circles and a square, which is not four circles. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's stupid. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Wow. Yeah, no, I, we just use a tape measure. What? <laughs> but how do you know how far things move? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, you know, I just wrote down six inches <laughs> just instead did. of three circles. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Uh, Games Workshop. Games Workshop. Um, wow. Anyway, we had fun. It was good. It's cool. Um, it's, it's pretty great. much the... Sorry? I was going to say, it's very nice. Oh, <gasps> Wait, does he actually have the Thousand Suns dice over there, do I see? He does. He bought them special as a treat. <laughs> Zoom and enhance. <laughs> Zoom and enhance, Ben. Pan, 90 degrees to the right. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's um, as good as it gets. Yeah, boom. There you go. There's some fucking like... Oh my god, out of the corner of your eye, you spied them. We ranked these pretty highly as well on our dice tier chart. Remember, these are the horse heresy ones we did yeah, the yeah. mega ranking on. <laughs> ben, I know they're the horse heresy. <laughs> I know they're the horse heresy. You don't need dice to be in focus to know what they are. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew exactly what dice they were. You know why? Because they're high tier dice. Mm. If those had been like the Night Lord's dice or the Sons of Horus dice, you wouldn't even know they were dice. They would have exactly. just been like blurry coloured shapes just in the background. Just a mess in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, like, because they are super on brand, um, the metallic red with the logos. It looks great. They're good dice. Good dice. Good dice. Oh, look, there's a better shot of them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, beauties. Absolute beauts. Good job. Um... So yeah, that's been my literally the sum total of my my hobby recently. Painted some some custodies, battled some prosperos. That's real good. That's more fun. more custodies than I've been painting. You're so nearly done. I know. I've not done. <laughs> I've not done any painting. I left my army in the office anyway. Um, uh. Yeah, not done any painting. Not done anything. Um, the problem is, I need to buy a desk. <laughs> oh, shit. I literally don't own a desk. New house blues. Uh, yeah, new <laughs> house. And um, uh, I don't own furniture. <laughs> so <laughs> that, was a, that was an issue. Um, so, yeah, I need Do you to just sit in the middle of your room like Gollum? <laughs> <laughs> like precious. Just a, <laughs> On your a switch. Pile of pile of dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I need to, um, um. Need to, get, need to get some, some stuff. Uh, some some furniture, mainly a desk. Um, <laughs> desk is job number one. You can't even use your PC yet. Well, I've got an old super shit desk, which I just like have set up in my living room with my old computer on. Mm. Um, but because uh, where I'm now, has got like a spare room, and I want to make that as like a uh, office so I can stream and have like a permanent mm. desk for like war hammering and a desk for computering. Oh my god, that's the dream. Just no. so I've got, got some space. So I don't have to keep packing and unpacking everything. Mm. Um, so like a friend of mine has got a... He's got like a spare room at his house, which is like his like office. Mm -hmm. um, and he has this like giant table with like a permanent wargaming painting setup. Whew. And um, oh, it just looks so nice. Because mm. like, it's such a big desk. Like, I've been over there and done some painting. Oh man, um, I've just got like a tray that I tuck into a corner and I pull it out. And it's better than nothing because at least my paints and my models yeah. are there ready to go. But I would love to have everything to hand in a built yeah. space. That would be perfect. Like, with like the like 
racks for all your paints to go in. Mm. Um, oh. Um, so I want to get some of those because I'm tired of fucking. Normally, oh. I'll just have a couple on my desk that I, I will, use. Um... But when I tidy up, they all go in a fucking box, and then like yeah. rummaging through my box of uh, paints. I've got a story about this. Um, where is it? I bought one. I got sick of it myself because my paint tray's got a really nice rack, but they only fit the um, Vallejo style bottles in. Uh, okay, yeah. So I've got like. 20 Vallejo paints on this rack that comes on my tray. But then whenever I need a GW paint, I've got to like dig it out of my shoebox full, <laughs> yeah. full of paints, which is just the worst. So I thought I'd be a smart boy and get myself a paint rack while I was at a, um, a war games convention. There was yeah. this really nice um, place that did uh, like laser cut MDF stuff where you yeah. could get like movement trays and racks and um, scenery and stuff. And it was all amazing. Um, but apparently I'm just a big fucking dumb idiot <laughs> who was just like <laughs> <laughs> what is this this is so i got 90 percent finished on gluing get like pva gluing this rack together and then i pushed one bit in it was like wouldn't quite go in and i was like forced it in and then the whole thing just collapsed in on itself into just this fucking Pile of shit. Gluey but there's just glue everywhere, and some of the glue mess. had dried, and that ripped as I like oh, pulled it fuck apart. Me. Um, I love it. That's so fucking <laughs> good. Why doesn't mine look like that? <laughs> God, it's like the fucking yeah, the Homer Simpson <laughs> making a barbecue, <laughs> a barbecue, just lifting up just a pile of shit. The worst part is, as I did it and it collapsed, I clen I like tried to stop it from collapsing, oh. and my fingers went two of the racks. I've only got. I've not got middle racks left because my thumb went through <laughs> wow. this section. Like both thumbs went through a different layer, and now um, I just can't hold six paints in here anymore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> love that. Um, wow. Oh, so yeah, watch out for these. <laughs> They're a little trickier than they look. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> ben, mm. Ben with his mega strength. <laughs> Gotta be delicate, my boy. <laughs> Gotta be delicate. Um, oh. Well, yeah. yeah Why does it still say Daff at the top? TJ, please. TJ, <laughs> TJ, please. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, yeah, so I want to get something like that, because I've not done uh, any building or painting. Um, oh, although man. I did pick up the Shadow Throne box. Oh, did you? Yeah. Cool. I bought the little book that comes in it for like Ooh. £4, because I didn't. Didn't need all those gene stuff. Stealers. No, I wanted. I kind of wanted the other stuff. Nice. Um, so yeah. you sell me your blade champion. No, I want him. <laughs> I want the blade champion. Well, actually, to be honest, I might, might, maybe sell it to you because I think I might convert one myself. Oh. Just because the existing characters that I've got for my army mm -hmm. are all made out of big, rippling, naked muscle men. Oh, of course, yeah. And so you want to stay on theme. It feels weird to have Sully the Blade Champion mm. not being a rippling muscle man. Yeah, you'll, you might want to use his like boots and gloves and weapon and stuff Maybe. as part of the conversion. Maybe. I think I'd just right? find a cool-looking naked muscle man and just give him like a fun cloak and a, just a ridiculous sword. Yeah. Um, Sounds hot. Are you giving them custody helmets? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's the rule. Because <laughs> yeah. you're, you're an idiot if you don't wear a helmet to battle. Yeah. Um, but the Emperor's faith protects their body. <laughs> right. But, you know, you want to protect the head. That's where the brain meet is. Sure. And so they're doing the reverse of... Um, <laughs> Every Space Marine character like, ever. You know, all of these characters. Like, Yeah, well, you're wearing Terminator armor. Like, this thing's tougher than a tank. Why? Are you, what? Why? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, instead of the whole body being armored, naked, big muscle man, but oh, armored man. helmet. Have you got any pictures? No. Oh. Fuck you. Boo! You'll have pictures soon. Okay. One day. One day. <laughs> One day. Um, but yes, we'll see. Also, I kind of think I'd, um, with the, what are they called? The saboteur. Oh, the yeah. saboteur. Mm -hmm. Um... I think, I'd probably, I think I'd want to convert that as well. Like, yeah. I'm just a bit... Just really nothing. Like, they'd be fine just going in a unit. And there's more than enough 
like components for that. There's all these like Gene Steel occultists with little detonators and like, Bombs grenades and stuff. Stacks. I think you just make something just way wackier, mm. um, like more over the top and silly, that actually looks mm -hmm. like it stand out more um, yeah. compared to like all the other plebs. Um, Definitely. But um, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just Google um, big naked muscle man helmet. <laughs> yeah, and that's I'll, the we'll one. get what you're looking that's for. The one. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, that should work. Uh, no, I got some from a bunch of. I got my naked muscle men from mm -hmm. a bunch of different places. Some from Artel W. Oh yeah, another one. Um, some from Heresy. Oh yeah, you got a big barbarian from Heresy miniatures, didn't you? Yeah. Um, is that who? a barbarian from Artel as well? No, it's a oh, space it's, marine, but oh, he's, yeah. he's got a name. He's, he's like a like, post-human or something, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. This that boy. guy. He's using like, that guy for one of the characters. That's um, cool. What a boy. And he's thick. The, um, I'll find the heresy one for you. One second. Uh... Heresy. He's got. Oh, what's he called? Like. Okay. He's called like Throg or Trug. Oh, there he is. No, that's not him. Oh, uh, I was hoping it, it was him. Heresy. No, what's the other one? Not Heresy Miniatures. Fuck, it's like one of the ones that I use a lot. Um. They're like black and yellow logo. Oh, that's, oh, that's the guy. That's the model. Oh, cool. The one with the sword. Yeah. Where's he from? Hasslefree. Hasslefree, oh, that's fuck. it. Um, yeah, just big, just big muscly men. Oh, man. Those guys with just a custody helmet and a big plume of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds just, amazing. Um, yeah, and they're just like super oiled up muscle, muscle boys. Because, and it's also not like gr gr gratuitous, I can say words. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's like the old law. Yeah, because they did used to all just be naked boys with helmets on. Yeah, and so I'm not just like, uh, you know. You're not just being sexy for the sake of it. Yeah. and It's, it's Warhammer's fault it's so sexy. It's canonical. Um, um, old style. Because uh, that's, yeah. their, that's their jam. This is like the first image of them ever. Yeah, that's what they. That's what the emperor was like. My bodyguards, <laughs> you're not yeah. wearing full armor. You have to dress in pants. <laughs> Just that. Pants, helmet, and if you're very special, you can have a cloak. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hot. It's really hot. Very hot. <laughs> um, I think these new modern armored custodies are just like shadows of their former glory. Exactly. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, what else is happening? What else is, what going, else is going down? What's new in Warhammer for the last year? Well, we've got a lot of new things in Warhammer to go through, maybe too many. Um, so we'll have to be a little bit selective. Uh, Middle I... Earth hobby bingo! Oh, well, let's just go for our fucking everything we see! <laughs> <laughs> but I remember this was fun last, last year when we looked at it. Oh yeah, we did have fun with it last time, didn't we? I watched um, Lord of the Rings this Christmas. Really? I used to watch it every Christmas, and then I had a kid, and time became precious. So oh. I stopped watching it every year. But now he's old enough to watch it as well. Ooh. So um, we did. We watched it. We had to treat it. We couldn't sit down, and I realized they only owned the uh, extended editions. Oh, shit. And I was like, no little kid is sitting through four and a half hours of Return of the King endings. So um, we, we treated it like a TV series, and we'd watch like an hour and then oh, stop okay. and go do something else, then come back in the evening and watch another hour of it. And I was convinced. One time I said, do you want to keep watching this? He was just going to go, nah, I'm not into it anymore because I've watched so fucking much of it. But he was hooked. We did the whole thing over the course of about a week. Wow. And um, that's... I haven't gone through the whole trilogy for like 10 years. Brilliant. And it felt real good. Man, they... I don't know if you know this, Tom. Those Lord of the Rings films, they're really fucking good. What? <laughs> what? I know it's the hottest of takes. <laughs> oh my god, Ben, cool your jets there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, yeah, holy shit. They're great movies. They're just great movies. Real good. I'd recommend. If you haven't seen them already. 
<laughs> can't imagine anyone watching this stream hasn't already seen them. <gasps> What's the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Oh, ding! You did it. I, I did a bongo. Uh, I, start a new army. Uh, you did your custodies. Oh my god. All of the finished models in your army are based. Bing! Wow. Of course, because I'm Tom and Ben. Part of Tom and Ben doesn't not finish bases. Yeah. Oh my god. Good job. Um, I've, I've convert a model to look different. You're going to do oh. that with a head swap. Well, I've got all my fallen angels, which are yeah. all massively converted. Well, this could just be with your custodies guy. Oh, just the head swap. I also, I'm going to swap the sword as well, because I hate the th swords. Well, it says head swap or weapon swap. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'll get that one twice. The painted monster or a siege engine. Oh. I'm pretty sure a dreadnought would count as a siege engine. Okay, so I'm just going to paint a dreadnought, and then I've completed Hobby Bingo in week one. Boom. Fuck you, Games Workshop. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> yeah, nerds. <laughs> Good job. Oh, thanks, man. Wow. Oof, geez, that's the easiest row by a long shot. Look, this one's got to paint 600 points and watch the Hobbit trilogy. Fuck. Row four is a bitch. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that ain't the one. Paint a hero of valor. What the heck is a hero of valor? I don't know. Um, this is just build it and paint a model. That's pretty easy. Although that's if you you could tag team it with the right hand side, the finish and paint a model that's been in your to do pile for a year at least. Oh yeah, oh, yeah they can't see our camera. We uh, can't see our um, our mouse. Cursor, oh of course we just they can't. Saying stuff. Yeah, but the, no, Tom, I can't complete the finish the model that's been in your to do pile for at least a year because I always paint my models before I buy new models. That oh. one's impossible. <laughs> wow, <laughs> well done. Well done, Ben. God, I was so tempted to pick up um, the Nurgle Battle Force. I kind of want to make a Nurgle army. Man, the Nurgle Battle Force, I was tempted to just... I, when I went into a hobby shop to buy some paint, I saw that Nurgle Battle Force, and I nearly bought it on the spot. Like, I don't have no use for it, but it's just really nice. There's just really nice models in it. Because um, I think I saw it, and it was like on... I can't remember where it was. It was like ninety pounds. I oh, know it's the next one along. Oh, so. this one. Oh, right. I meant that one. Oh, um, I just really like these big fat noble uh, knights. And white plate blight knights. Yeah, and then the ones that ride bugs. No, I meant the. Um, oh, you mean the Death Guard one? Yeah. Oh. Does feel bad to see fifteen miniatures for over a hundred quid. Yeah, <laughs> they should probably. stop putting that number on the box because that's not a big number for yeah, the price you're asking. They sometimes they don't look super good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool too. The Death Guard are great models. I really like them. But then I was like, I don't need that. Or you could buy this one because it's got the good boys. Ah, thank you, TJ. I think that is the box. No, the other one didn't no, have I think good this boys is, in it. This is the new one. Oh, yeah, that's the 2018 one. <clears throat> yeah, this is the oh. new one that has. Because I really, really like those um, Bugulons. Yeah. I imagine they get lots of cuddles and strokes from the Plague Marines. Yeah, they just seem great, great little boys. Um, I just think they're super cute. Um, they do look cool. I want it. I want it. I want it, Ben. Where do we get to? Uh, so yeah, what else? What else do we have new going on then? Uh, we have to be uh, economical. We don't with have our, to be. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. Um, there's a trailer that I haven't watched for. Warhammer Plus. Me neither. Don't give a shit. About cartoons, Tom. Eh. You don't want to watch cartoons? Fuck, man. I don't think we had spoken about it. Mm. Um, have you watched the TV show Arcane? No. Watch Arcane, the Everyone TV show. Everyone telling me to. Is it really that good? I don't know about League of Legends. Me neither. Honestly, it super doesn't matter. Um, really isn't. Really isn't a big problem. Um, if you don't know League of Legends, I didn't know it and I didn't find any problem getting into it. Wow. Um, I'd say the story in it is like 7 out of 10. But okay. the animation, fuck me, is 10 out of 10. Wow. Is like the best animation I think I've seen since like Into the Spideyverse. For like wow. just stylistic design. It is so beautiful like holy shit okay High super praise. super attractive um absolutely love wow, it chat completely agree with you as well um also uh anyone who's like Ugh, league of legends um you're a fucking idiot 
Um, <laughs> okay, the lot of both trash. Um, you're an idiot. Because uh, fucking Perry and Lewis were shitting on the idea of watching it because they're like, oh, I played Dota, LOL is for kids. Uh, it came after. Did they watch the Dota animation? Because it wasn't Perry and like, it's anime, I hate anime. Well, the, the, yeah, the Dota animation is awful. It's so bad. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure this is based on nothing but my own personal hot take. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure that they found out that um, uh, League of Legends was making an animation. And so I think Arcane had been in development for like five years or something. Oh, right. So then Dota rushed their own one out. I think they found out like a year ago, mm. maybe maybe more, maybe like two years tops, um, okay. that th this animation was coming out. And they're like, fuck, we need to beat them to market. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like we're copying them. Um, and they smashed Oof. out this animation, which is really basic. And then and everyone forgot about it instantly because yeah. it was hot garbage. Well, I never heard anyone mention it after it came out. And the League of Legends one, amazing. Arcane, wow, okay. really, really good. Cool. Um, but so, while I was going before uh, we deviated, they were both talking about how they were not going to watch Arcane because mm -hmm. like, oh, it's League of Legends. And then um, Perion watched it and he was like, it was, it was great. Oh, wow. So he completely 180'd on it. Yeah. Um, so don't be like, don't be this fucking asshole who's like, <laughs> I won't watch it because it's a thing attached to something I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Just grow up. Having said that, though, I'm not watching this Age of Sigmar animation. I'm not watching this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Fuck that, boys. <laughs> On that exact same level. Um, yeah, but I, don't, I feel like this stuff yeah. is like the Dota animation, mm. and I like Dota. Mm. Even, and I like Warhammer, but this is just garbage animation that's just being pumped out for no artistic value. Right. Um, whereas the Arcane, God, it's just so good. It's so pretty. Wow. Once again, the story, eh, it's nice. There's some really mm. nice characters. There's some nice character design in it. Um, but, oh, just, oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Okay. I'll have to check it out then. I'd highly recommend. Cool. If you just want something that, like, looks, looks nice. Um, all right, well, let's watch something that isn't amazing and artistically beautiful. It's the favorite character. Oh, God. Foxies. I like how there's a lot of different styles. That's cool. Like, oh, man, those Titans look pretty cool. That's a lot of books. Shit. Wow, they're really pretending like there's a lot of stuff in Warhammer Plus, aren't they? One day there will be. One day there will be. That's very That's true. That's something we can agree. Yes. Um, no, actually, I think I'm, I am quite hot for a bunch of the animations that are coming out. Mm. Apparently, the Blood Angel Gene Stealer Cult one has finished. Really? Essentially, they put the last episode out. So uh, I, might, okay. I might subscribe later this month and watch all of that. They're like, yeah, like Gene Stealers. I think I'm still like holding out. Like I feel like I might subscribe to this in like a year and just binge watch a whole load of it. Yeah. And then... Um, or wait until something comes out when people are like, this is fucking amazing, mm. watch it, and then then give it a go. Yeah, I'm not going to be on the hook getting one episode every three weeks. Like, no, that's, like, that's too slow. Too yeah. slow for me. There we go. Do, you know the, do they know what the new models are? No, they're not telling us. Secrets. Because it has to be a year, right? Before these oh, ones... Oh, fuck, really? You get one model a year, so you know, you'll get these miniatures in summer this year, and then they'll show the new ones, I guess. They probably preview them a couple of months before. Yeah. Um, but it looks like a Chaos guy. Cool. I'm amazed they haven't done a Space Marine yet. Because everyone loves Space Marines. Yeah, that's true, actually. Everyone. What do we got? We got um, new Eldar Guardians. Who are pretty cool. 
They're not massively different to the old ones. They're just in more interesting poses. <laughs> so, like someone in this this scene right here, <laughs> someone is like one of the Eldar, one of the naughty Eldar has farted, and because <laughs> the the like Eldar in the top left is like, what's that smell? And the one yo yo, yo did it. Did it. <laughs> um, they are not not in style at all. I don't like the pants. Do you know what I mean? Like the thong, they all look like they're wearing battle thongs. Oh, they are battle thongs. The heads are good. Yeah, the head's nice. It's good, good elf head. Um, and I like the new poses, like these running poses. They're cool, because all the old ones are just stood there. But they're all in battle thongs, and yeah, <laughs> little nose, upturned nose. I need to see the butt. Is it a proper battle thong? Uh, I don't think we get to see any butts. What? Um, Why are we even on this site then? But we do get to see um, <gasps> belly button, belly button armor. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so that's fun. That's a weird touch. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, you know, because you know the guys get six packs, and uh, the gals <laughs> get belly buttons. <laughs> okay. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a weird, <laughs> weird design. Um. Yeah, don't really understand that one. Stupid, sexy Eldar. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I feel like everyone should get six packs or none of them. Look, she's got a belly button in there. But my favorite thing, <laughs> battle thongs and belly buttons aside, is um, this guy's finger. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Look how long. Is. Yeah, that's for uh, really getting deep in the old belly button, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just uh... like his finger is longer than his hand. Wow, <laughs> that is a long finger. <laughs> what the fuck? It just looks so weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so some interesting design choices here. The new helmet's cool. Like a bit crisper than the um, yeah the sharper like, angles. Yeah, these they look exactly like Eldar Guardians. Like I've not. Can you bring up like the old set? Because like I've not seen them in a long time. Uh, there you go. Oh god, those heads. <laughs> right. Yeah, they've got grumpy face. <laughs> Do they have? Belly buttons? Uh, they've got six packs. I think they've all got six packs. Wow. But I'm not sure. Okay, but modern ones. No six packs for... No for ladies. Ladies aren't allowed six packs. They just, just have to have uh, belly buttons. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's so weird. Also, like, fuck you for trying to make me highlight that belly button. Like, how... <sighs> That's... No. Such an odd choice. Like, it makes you... Like, there'd, there'd have to be a purpose for it, right? Well, not everything on armor has a purpose. Some things are for looks, right? Like, um, those blood angels with the nipples <laughs> on their power armor. Okay, right. With those guys, that's more like, you know, over-the-top ceremonial armor. This yeah, exactly. is like the functional guardian's armor. Yeah, that's because this is so the bare port, stuff. It must mean that they've got, like, something that has to, like, plug into that belly button hole at some point for some reason. What happens to all the Eldar with outies? Oh, they get like a little nub. <laughs> like a little, just a little bump. A little bump. No, I feel like the armor just uh, force it on. No. It like presses no, no, it. You get a little <laughs> boop, little outie. <laughs> okay. I'm, con I'm converting mine. <laughs> <laughs> all to be outies. All to be outies. What the fuck? <laughs> Wow. Oh, apparently the old Banshees had had it. Really? Did they? I don't remember that. I mean, when these models came out, I wasn't making uh, they fun said the of... the old ones. Wow. They oh, wow. Have... The, old, the really old ones did. Do you have belly buttons? It's kind of less pronounced, but they are there. See, when, like... I guess, like, it's uh, the sort of gendering of the models. Um... Oh, look there, too. I'd never noticed it before. Wow. Holy shit. 
Even Jane Zarr doesn't get a six pack. She gets a belly button instead. I, I feel like you can have both. You can have a six pack and a belly button. Yeah. Wait, do people with six packs have belly buttons? Or do like the muscles just <laughs> close around it, it up. <laughs> and like just the belly button like just disappears? <laughs> Is that how nature works? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if you if you can see your belly button, you're disgusting and out of shape. Oh, oh, <laughs> fucking hell, Ben! <laughs> fucking hell! Oh, this man. is how I find out. <laughs> no, <laughs> I thought I was really in shape. <laughs> Look after yourself. Tom. Oh shit! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wait, but. I may be disgusting and out of shape, but I am as disgusting and out of shape as, like, Jane Zara is. <laughs> so I'll take it, Ben. Immortal, am... timeless warrior without peer. <laughs> yeah, I am as hot as Jane Zara. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. By, uh... Although, to be fair, Jane Zara has a two-pack. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, if you start... If you count where my tummy starts to come out as a, as a divider... <laughs> well, I guess, like, if you include the roll, um, I, I definitely have a two-pack of sorts. <laughs> Oh dear. I think maybe Who's? maybe the belly button armor is a um this is protection, right? You can't get fluff in there if you've got it cased. Oh. It's like a bottle cap. Right, okay, yeah. Because to have a single piece of belly button lint as an Eldar is an unforgivable sin. That's right. And uh the path to the dark side. Yeah, that's how you become a dark elder. <laughs> I haven't had a good look at the new Dark Eldar Warriors. They're pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I really oh like yeah, the these Dark are the Eldar old ones. Dark Eldar models. Uh, oh. Top left. What do these guys have? Oh, they've got evil six pack, evil three packs. Okay. No belly buttons on them. Well, they're hiding theirs. They're not wearing theirs with pride, like the craft welders do. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're nice. Sure. Um, and top, the nicest thing is the new Storm Guardians. They've got the little hair plume on the helmet, Ooh. which I think actually really just makes the model look better. And they've got like power swords and pistols and special weapons. And instead of a heavy weapon platform, they've got like a shield generator. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's a nice little touch. Cool. Mm. Cool times. Eldar. Eldar. Well done. That's not all. There's lots more new Eldar. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see when we get to it. There's um, store anniversary miniatures. Oh, yeah, I saw this. You that guy, this guy looks amazing. Isn't he fucking rad? Fuck your book, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the writing is a bit big for me, like large font. But other than that, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um... I, I think he's super cool. I kind of want to get this model. Mm. Um, I think I'll buy it just to have... Because it, well, once it's gone, it's gone, right? So at some point, I might do some kind of weird little skirmish game inquisitor thing, and it would just be nice to have him ready to bust yeah, out for that. I think, I think he's great. I think he's really, really cool. Um, yeah. What do you think the rest of the sword says? Exterminatus Mo... Foe. Mofo. Yeah, there's not much so. room left. Yeah, the point of the blade is like here, right? So yeah, like Mofo. He, mofo. <laughs> I think <laughs> What else? What else could it be? <laughs> Mortis. Mortis ain't gonna that. No, nah, you're not fit. fitting Mortis in there. Oh mom. Exterminatus <laughs> mom! <laughs> mom. <laughs> um Exterminatus mom! <laughs> <laughs> you might fit a mall in there. <laughs> oh, is it Exterminatus MD? Oh, that's cool. Doctor Exterminatus. Boom, <laughs> Doctor Exterminatus. Oh, that'd be a good. That that would be an amazing like daytime TV show <laughs> in the forty first millennium. Doctor Exterminatus, can you help me with my problem? I've had dark thoughts. What do you recommend? Doctor Exterminatus on the case. <laughs> uh, yeah. Doesn't matter what the ailment, he's only got one cure. Yeah. And it works every time. <laughs> Boom, Dr. Exterminatus, <laughs> MD. Yeah. Love him. Love him. He's great. Perfect. 
And then there's this guy as well who's like nowhere near as fun. He looks great. He's really nice model. I really like the bird. Mm. But if you told me this was already out, like the <laughs> officer in like the box set, I'd be like, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think I've seen him before, maybe. Yeah, he's very familiar. He looks a lot like the one in the, um, what's it called? Uh, Underworlds. Yeah, yeah, it feels just like it's the Underworlds model or whatever. Mm. Um, he looks cool, but I guess like I just don't know that range nearly as well. So. No, that's true, me neither. But yeah, I'm excited to take, I think I will get him uh, in, when does Bristol? Um, Bristol. 30th of April. Yeah. Someone remind us before. Let's <laughs> not forget. It's Inquisitor time at the end of April. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, he's yeah they're fun. cool. Uh, like more. Uh, we got we got our codexes, Tom. Oh man, I've not really like browsed um browsed this a lot. I didn't realize when are they actually coming out? Uh, they go up for pre-order this Saturday, so they'll be out really? a following Saturday. Oh shit. Um. So yeah, Kings to the Cults, Custodies. It's a bit disappointing that the Codex is coming out and that's it. You know, no, no yeah. new releases with them. Um, but, oh, well, and dice. Oh, they're but not. They are the boring dice, though. Because the in throughout history, throughout the history of dice, Ben, mm -hmm. um, uh, the Gene Sealer Cult dice, they've made some really cool ones for. Really? In the past. So these I am especially hot for. Oh, wow. Look at those. Uh, because they're a bit more fun than just a dice with one side, which is different. Mm. Um, also, oh, they're quite hard to read, which is great. Um, and Gene Sealer Cult is on theme. Big fan of these dice. Very, very cool. Um, oh, yeah, they're kind of, kind of weird, aren't they? Oh, they did these ones as well. Ugh. They're boring. But there is another set. They did another set in a tin, too. Um, also, because these generally, like, resell for a lot. They're pricey to get hold of. Yeah, well, they they're a niche army, so I can't imagine they made many, printed many of them. Um, and they made these ones, too, oh. uh, a long time ago. Back when, I think this tin was only, like, £10 for, like, 20 dice. <laughs> oh, now it's wow. like £20. <laughs> so, um, like, six months ago, then... <laughs> And um, I can't remember who it was. Oh, have they done different ones? 200 dice replacements. Someone has made that own? Or is that? Oh. That's probably the homemade one. I don't know. I've always liked um, like these ones. Yeah, they're really cool. They're interesting. Um, these ones are still good. I like the high contrast purple and white. Yeah, I wish the purple was a bit like brighter. It's a little bit like muted. Mm. Um, Custody dice are real bad though. They're super, super bland. I don't like those at all. Why didn't they make them gold? Like they don't do many sets of gold dice. No. Have they done some before? They've done two sets of Custody's dice before. The, uh, so these ones, which I managed to pick up a set for, oh. they also did a limited edition set of the black ones. Go back there. Oh. These guys, um, but they're cool. only on sale like for virtually no time at all. If anyone has some of these and they'd sell me just like two of these dice, I'd be so into that. Wow. Um, Got to catch them all. Because like the those packs of those dice resell for like a hundred quid. Well, the black ones. Yeah. Wow. Which is nuts. Holy shit. Nuts. Oh, one and six though, Tom. I know. Isn't it good? No, I hate it. Yeah, because like um, when we were playing some games with my custodies, I um got I cracked out my special custodies dice. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. After like a game or two, I was like, oh fuck, I just want to get a big pile of just black and white dice because <laughs> yeah. it's fun to be on theme but fuck uh, me oh, it's, it's just, gonna be a pain every time you roll it takes you a couple of seconds to work out what the fuck you've rolled yeah oh uh, yeah they're not these ones are not so bad though uh white on gold or oh, it's like silver on gold oh yeah it's still a bit hard isn't it yeah. and like the that logo is like too fine detail not, not as into it mm. there we go so boring dice. Um, 
But we will have our codexes, and then we can maybe play a new game. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be super, super into it. In a couple of weeks. I'd be very much hot. You, you get to learn all of your weird overlapping special guitar moves. I've got to learn all of my special new rules. A million new stratagems. It's going to be really confusing. What are, are they going to do? I hope, I hope they don't fucking do the thing with Gene Steel Colts where they're going to do like the phases, like, oh, the insurgency phase, the... And they almost certainly will because everyone else has got one. Rise right? up phase, the whatever. I hate that. Like, Yeah, I'm really worried about this new custody special rules, the Marshall Qatar. Oh, it's just, there's so many words and so much rule here yeah. for the actual effects that you're getting. It's pretty minor. But you've, so you've got to pick, uh, you've got to select a primary one and then um, a secondary one and a tertiary one. So you've got to pick three and they can't be the same. And then um, depending on which phase you enter them, like if you pick this one as like your first one, it does one thing, but if you pick it as your second one, it does a different thing. And and it's just like a plus one to your move or something. Yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, it's roll two dice and discard one when you run. Like, okay, fine. Um, and there's like fucking loads of them. And, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I just hate it. It adds so little to the game. But a lot of extra brain chugging. Yeah. And prep and book looking. Really sounds like it's going to bog the game down. Um, we well, yeah, the Hans the Dragon says, like, the Necrons, the protocols. Mm -hmm. For how they work, it's like this really cumbersome set of rules for tiny, tiny benefits in game. Mm. And, like, you have to plan it at the beginning of the game, and, like, oh. yeah. It just it feels so, like, unfluid. I, I'm just not into it. I don't like this design choice. I still play it, but I'm still going to win. I'm going to grump about it, though. Yeah. Real bad. We've been saving up, Ben. I, I've been, like, blue-balling my grump. For, <laughs> I know. But it's such a Merry Christmas. For a long time. <laughs> and got to, like, you know, unload now. Right. Just squirt that grump everywhere. Mm -hmm. You ready for the preview for Chaos Marines and Eldar? Sure. I haven't seen this. I've been saving it up. There's a glowy thing. New models. Some robs. Lots of new models. Chaos Knight. Burb. Tentacle. Bones. What's the Arc Bone Reaper? No, I think that's Morgan Ra. Really? That's my theory. Nid. Some guy Book. Candles. Avatar, Avatar of Cain. Bloody Hand. Oh. That's what I think that was. That's the bloody hand of Cain. Cool. That was his spear. So new avatar of Cain, that's probably going to be a cool model. Right? And then this guy that looked like a bone reaper, because immediately after it comes this like dark Eldar robe mm. with bones, and that's the dark reaper rune. It's like a fish. Like a fish. Or like a missile. It's like a fish. Eesh. Like a fish skeleton. <laughs> yeah, it is. So Morgan, Ra a new Morgan Ra model. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, I like Morgan Ra. Morgan Ra and his electric guitar. Yeah, that's what he's got, right? Who's that? Is that a dark, dark elf? Yeah, whippy, whippy dark elf. Cool. Yeah, it's fun stuff. Fun previews. What are you most excited for? I think I just want to see what the avatar looks like. I don't think I'm going to buy one, but I just... They haven't made a new avatar in a billion years. Um, oh, yeah, because there was the Forge World one, wasn't there? Yeah. But if you don't count the Forge World one... Um, Man, there's, like... There's been two. This guy, who came out in the 90s, who's about as big as a Primaris Marine... Oh, yeah, he's not that big anymore, is he? Um, the, the Forge World one's pretty cool. He's a big boy. But do you remember the first edition one? The super super baby. The little baby one. Baby boy. Uh, yeah. Where is he? There he is. Yeah. Boop. That's a 20 mil base. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Like real small. He's, uh, he's changed a lot over the years. 
But I remember, like, as a kid, like, the... Like, seeing the Avatar of Kane on the table. Being like, oh, my God, it's the Avatar of Kane! <laughs> he um, was a big deal. He was one of the biggest boys in the game at yeah, the time. Yeah, like, obviously, was one of the, like, scariest things. Like, that alongside, like, a greater demon mm. or something like that. Those were, like, the big monsters. Yeah, because you just didn't have amazing special characters that could deal with them. He was immune to Melter, Plasma, and Flamer yeah. weapons. Just, just flat out immune. Um, it was a big deal. Of course, his arm always broke because he was made of metal and no one pinned uh, him. It was this. This bit always fell off. Oh, the no hair. fucking kids had that hair on. No. Because there was a tiny little peg. <laughs> yeah. And this was like a big chunk of metal. Yeah. And most of the kids were putting, slamming this into their ice cream container. <laughs> yeah. And that thing snapped immediately. Immediately. And no man, is, like, you had to drill it with brass rod to keep that thing in. Yeah. And Even no then, kid was like, doing that. Such a wacky connector point. Um, was there an epic? There was. There's been like two or three epic avatars. Epic. Oh. Um, Warhammer. Um, so that's the first one. First edition boy. It's a bit naff. But the second edition one is my favorite. Yeah. It's... Um, there he is. Looks amazing. It looks good. Who are these guys? They look... And then that's the third edition epic one. That's the... Um... No, I got it mixed up. Sorry. He's second. The cool one's third. Okay. That's like Court of the Young King. Okay. Bieltan had a thing where an a an exarch of each yeah. shrine would escort the avatar around in like a kill squad, which I th always thought was a cool unit. Yeah, yeah, really cool idea. I hope they bring it back. Oh, look here, here's another one. Look. So he's got oh, like, that looks great. That looks so much better. Yeah, he's got like one of each aspect warrior on his base. He's stomping about. Oh, someone's done there. That's fun. They're really nicely painted. Yeah. I've always liked um, Eldar Aspect Warriors. If they bring back the Court of the Young King, I might, I might paint that up. Ooh. Notice how everyone's converting their avatars. Yeah, because the old one. Some people used to convert it off of the Cauldron of Blood. Cauldron of Blood. Yeah. But yeah, with the Court of the Young King, that's a good excuse to paint one of each aspect and not have to do, like, a whole unit, you know? Yeah, also, it's, like, a fun, fun way to do it because um, each of them are nice, different models. You can paint them up differently. Spend your time as make each one a character. Um, yeah, kind of fun. Mm, cool. Cool, dude. So yeah, that's what I'm probably most excited to see. How about you? Do you like the look of any of that stuff? I'm kind of curious about um, Chaos Knights. Hmm. Let's see... Because I was a bit underwhelmed when they released that Chaos Knight kit. Yeah, because that's a you can do a lot with that. And it, it, potentially, it was just a bit like a bit too like generic for me. Um, but I don't know if there's anything. I can't think of the next thing I'm super hot for, like at all. At all. I've kind of forgotten what he is. He's just a regular knight kit with some spiky bits, right? So his legs are way better. Um, oh, because he's got the backwards legs. He's got backwards legs. Mm. Um, and they just look so much cooler. Yeah. But I'm not sure what I what I was after, but it was just like, eh. I guess you could just go nuts with your conversions, though, can't yeah. you? Yeah. It's pretty easy to convert him up into something wacky. I'm surprised they're doing new models for this. It's such a niche army. Yeah, I wonder if... Um, it'll be like when they release the special character with the harpoon gun for Imperial Knights, where it's literally just an upgrade sprue. Oh, yeah. That will go onto the Chaos Knight thing and that sounds about right. just give it two more weapons, some extra bits that you can slap on it, and there you go, you've just got four new knight builds. Yeah, that makes sense. Very economical. Mm. Bam. Uh, so that was that. Going back. Do you want to see Warhammer's greatest hits over the year? Sure. Uh, Kill Team. Oh, yeah, that was a real shitter. I'm surprised they're putting that on their list. They released Kill Team Pariah Nexus, which was this special box for Kill Team version one, mm -hmm. where you got the Primaris and the Necrons. And then, like, three months later, canned Kill Team 1 and brought out Kill Team 2, 
Oh. So anyone who bought this box, all the rules and tokens and everything in it, just throwing them out the window. Oh, shit. They're out of date immediately. Oof. My local hobby shop still got like five boxes of this. Oh. And no one's going to buy it. Like he tried to like half price them and no one, no one gave a shit. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um... Oh, Bellacore, that was a cool model. Bellacore, very cool model. He's a big boy. Yeah. <gasps> Everyone's favorite. Kragnos. Finally, they made Kragnos. Oh, God. <laughs> He's got the biggest Kra Kragnos rock of all. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. Love him. Wow. Um, Dominion, that box set that also hasn't sold very well, apparently. Really? Every every shop I've been into has just got racks of it up. I went to a big um, mm -hmm. miniatures game expo, and all the traders there just had like a pile of Dominions they were trying Fuck. to get rid of. But it's a cool set, like the Cruel Boys. Yeah, they're cool. I still want those shields. Uh, Dragnons. Uh, I don't like the Disney dragons. No, me neither. I don't like them. We know Warhammer Plus. Okay. I don't know if that was the best of the year, to be honest, guys. I feel like you've done better than that. Oh, well. I wish they're in. Was the lady at the bottom of that the one that did... Um, what's it called? The M Mind Sphinx. The, like, super, like, neon one with the wings. Yeah, I think so. She, she won a bunch of painting competitions and then became, like, uh, their painting video person. Bam. From Warhammer Plus. I forget her name. Is it Dana? Dana? I can't remember. Because that was an amazing, amazing Sphinx. Oh, that's Lou. Louise. Did they do the... What's that Sphinx called? The Mind Rack Sphinx or something. Something like that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, do you want to see what was voted Miniature of the Year? <clears throat> yep. I feel like this is bullshit, though. Yeah. Uh, no Apparently. one would have voted for you. Get out of here. No, there's Stupid no dragon. way anyone voted for this. That is definitely not the miniature of the year. Fuck me. Uh, uh, these guys are great, though. I feel like this... Maybe some people could have. Um, Lord Croak. It's a pretty cool model. A really nice model. I think he's very pretty. The Nundam. Uh, yeah, it's not for me, but I can see why people might like it. Uh, this guy. I... I really really like him now i've really grown to love the um the big <laughs> the big squig <laughs> i feel like they've made better models than this this year there's been some amazing models and sigvald very very cool sigvald is cool i see he's got a naked butt um oh were those just uh, honorable oh, mentions yeah that honorable oh, mentions. oh wow okay good that makes sense i was like none of these deserve to win no um Cool. Okay, so third, Hellbrock. He, I think he's a cool model. I like him, even even with his wife. Although boy. I, f I feel like we can actually improve this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh fuck! Oh, third place spoilers. is just cut him out. This guy got third place. Oh, just wipey boy. The wiping boy. He <laughs> yeah. got third place. Um, you can just put him on so many models. <laughs> he's just so good. Just wiping away. Very versatile. He's cool. Um, yeah, so I'll agree with that. He's a, he's a fucking awesome model. Um, of course, wouldn't be a list of the year without Krabnos. Oh, Krabnos here. Uh, Krabnos. Yeah. What a boy. <gasps> Sigvald had a belly button and a six pack. Oh my god. What? But he's not an elf. <gasps> well, and also he's Slanesh. Yeah. So he can have both. Parts. Yeah, yeah, he's allowed. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. decadent. <laughs> well, also because that's what they want to avoid, right? They don't yeah. want um, the they don't the want to end up like him falling to Slanesh because mm. six pack and belly button. <laughs> that's that's deviancy, Ben. <laughs> you have to choose. Pick one. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're a fucking pervert. <laughs> you're on the path to corruption. That's uh, that's how you um yeah you get your soul eaten, right? <laughs> so Apparently so. Do. Apparently so. Yeah. Uh, um, so, so Krabnos. He's a boy. Our favourite boy. Um, Which means Billy Core has won. I, I'm i calling it now. Mm -hmm. I think the fucking Crab won. And... Oh, right. You think Crab got more votes, but Gaze Workshop was like, we can't make the fucking Crab the winner. We can't fucking let the Crab win. So we'll put it in second because it had 
five times as many votes as fucking Bellacle. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're right. Because people on the internet... No, no, people on the internet would never vote for a silly thing. People on the internet are very serious. Yeah, whenever there's a poll, usually the very sensible popular option wins, not the silly meme, in my limited experience of naming polls. Yeah. Um... I, I just, I'm just calling it, man. I think it's a fucking cover-up. Yeah, I think this is... And the crab one, Games Workshop would not allow it. This goes all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. It's a conspiracy against our crab boy. All the way to James Workshop. Let's do a poll now. The correct poll. Oh, you think James Workshop was involved? Yeah. Oh, my God. Slash poll. There we go. So I did vote in this, but I voted for oh, Kragnos. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Because I was going to see Kragnos up here <laughs> to laugh. I fucking hate that model. <laughs> it's awful. It's such an ugly model. It's hideous. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so Bellacor, you fucking robbed Kragnos, but you're a fine model, I guess. And he's got a space marine on his Ooh, base. So they went for the 40k one rather than the um, Sigma one. Oh, that's true. So technically, a Primaris Lieutenant is also number one. That's true. <laughs> they still got him in there. <laughs> they did. By technicality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it is it's a great model. He's really nice. I like yeah, him a lot. He's very cool. Um, but I don't believe that he won. It's all. rigged. Fucking rigged. Um, I feel like being charitable and not being mean to never chosen this year. When we shouldn't. We're, we're, we're good people now. We're good we're people now. We're not assholes anymore. That's right. We've learned well, our lesson. Questionable. Uh, turns out a whole bunch of orcs weren't released and are now released. Yeah, that really confused me. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh, they weren't out. I thought they were. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, oh, I did, yeah. You must I, have seen the memes about this one. I did see. Oh, I love it. I love it when <laughs> something gets announced and the community fucking shits its pants and the insane, insane things people say <laughs> of like, I just built this army. I'm throwing it in the bin. I'm not playing Warhammer anymore because I saw one stat guns. line. Um, <laughs> I love, I love how much people just go people lose fucking their insane fucking in minds. seconds. To be fair, you're right. They, a lot, some people definitely went way over the top in their reaction to railguns. But these rules are dumb. Yeah, they, oh, it's, it's dumb and it doesn't make sense. But I still, like, if it's, if it's too bad, they'll fucking they'll nerf FAQ. it back. I feel like this is getting FAQ'd within, like, three months of this codex coming out. Um... Or well, it depends how many points they are as well. If they're 400 points each, then who gives oh, a yeah. shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it's more expensive. Um. Um, so, for those who don't know, <laughs> oh, fucking no. railguns are just amazing now. Uh, we don't get to know all the other rules that go with them. We don't know the stratagems or the points values or any of that yeah. stuff. So, hold your judgment. We've got no idea. They might be, might be even better than this. They might cost 20 points. <laughs> um, but we'll see. So, what they do is they can, um, they can shoot the entire length of the tiny board. Yeah. They, we know that hammerheads get rerolls to hit. That's been previewed already. So it's a good roll one dice, and you're looking for a three plus, and if you miss, you get to go again for another three plus. They'll wound any medium or light vehicle on a two plus, and any heavy vehicle on a three plus. There's minus six to your armor save. So unless you have a zero up, you're not getting an armor save. And I can't think of anything that gets a zero up. There might be some weird niche I think thing you somewhere. you might be able to pull an armor save through shenanigans. But that would still be a save of a six. Yeah. Best case scenario. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, invulnerable saving throws can't be made against this attack. Um, How hands will be four plus the hit all tower! <laughs> In caps. Sorry, Ben. Um, ben was actually including the marker light that you would obviously have fired at your target before I'm pretty this. sure they've already previewed that hammerheads are going to be BS3. Really? But we'll see. <gasps> That's what I've been told. Um, I Just loved love it. It was all caps. caps. That's my favorite it makes part. It so much better. <laughs> right. Then, no, no invulnerables, no armor saves. I just go three plus, two plus. And then you immediately take minimum 10 wounds. <whistles> Between 10 and 12 wounds on this three up, two up dice roll. So, you know, you've got your Contemptor Dreadnought. Stuff from the seven, 
So it gets wounded on twos. It's got, it's got like, how many wounds is the Dreadnought? Like 10? Eight? I can't remember. Ten Either wounds. way, less than the minimum damage this thing's caused. Um, so just take it fucking off. I don't care that you've got five up in Vulnerable. I don't care that you've got all those wounds and Duty Eternal and all that crap. Yeah. It's literally three plus with a reroll, followed by two plus, and your 160 point Dreadnought is dead. Yeah, man, Railgun. Ooh, don't get hit by that. No, don't get hit by that. Oof. I think my favorite examples of this, of like, um, you know, like demons, they have an invulnerable saving throw because they're like phasing in and out yeah, of existence. They're made out of magical space reality. But this thing fires so fast, <laughs> it hits them in every reality. <laughs> yeah. um, or like farseers and stuff, they have an they invulnerable save the future. because they see the future. <laughs> yeah. But when this thing fires at you, in all futures, <laughs> it kills you, man. <laughs> Doctor Strange is there going, Just I've like, seen 16 million possible futures. Oh, fuck. I'm dead in all of them. I get hit by the railgun in every single one. It's that fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It's pretty fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. um, big fan. Like, I'm pretty sure it'll kill, like, Abaddon or Gilliman in one shot. The only thing it doesn't one shot is, like, a land raider or a, or a knight or something. Um, Catan. Gasgol Thracker. Oh, yeah, because they literally can't be one Gasgol shot by Thracker, anything. Only three wounds in one go. <laughs> yeah. So that thing fucking shoots him, and he's like... Oh. Ow. Well, I guess the mortal wounds may be still. I don't know. How, I don't know how exactly how these rules work. But is the mm. is it only three wounds per phase they can take? It's something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, Oof. But yeah, suddenly those guys insanely tough and don't give a shit about rail guns. <laughs> Everything <laughs> yeah. else very sad about rail guns. <laughs> and the nice little perk of it having doing three mortal wounds in addition to its. D3 plus 6 mm. is that um, if you're shooting at something that's not one model like you're shooting at a unit just take four of them off because mortal wounds oh, do overkill that's... so the set one guy takes seven wounds and then three other guys take mortal wounds no no it's like a bolt thrower yeah it goes through like four guys oh, that's fucking sweet that's <laughs> cool it's kind of fun yeah I like that it just waits for them all to line up <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of rad <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of into it. It is, it is strong. And then, obviously, whatever marker lights are going to do to it to make it even better. Bonuses to hit, like, pff, reduces people's cover, things like that. Um, yeah. Oh, there, there is. Built-in rerolls. Wouldn't want that thing missing, would you? But let's say it is always on a 4-plus with a reroll to hit. It's going to be such a frustrating gun. Oh, God, yeah. When Every time you miss, you're going to be like, oh. Because it's going to be so, like, swingy. Because mm. if it hits, it fucking vaporizes a dreadnought. If it misses, I do nothing. Mm. And if I spent 150 points on a toy, and, like, oh, my God, there's, yeah. like, you know, a 25% chance it's doing nothing every turn. But if you compare it to something like a LAS cannon, where they've got a roll to hit, same as. They've got a roll to wound, but... It's going to be one less. It's not going to be twos against everything. It's going to be threes against everything. Yeah. Then they get their say, armor save, or they're invulnerable. And then you might just roll a one or a two on the number of wounds you roll. Yeah. Um, there's so many places a regular anti-tank gun can fuck up. It's so reliable. To be honest, I actually don't hate this. I just wish all anti-tank guns had such reliable damage. I don't think they all have to ignore invulnerable saves. But like, if LAS cannons did D3 plus three wounds, I think if they just had more, if it was like, if this thing shoots at a vehicle, it does. Yes. A vehicle or monster mm -hmm. deal plus three wounds. Yeah. Make something better at blasting that stuff. Yeah, because if every dedicated anti-tank weapon had a rule like that, where it was consistent on its damage, yeah. this would be a lot less bullshit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there you go. If a Lascaran is D3 plus 3. I'd far prefer if a Lascaran was D3 plus 3. Yeah. That would be so much better. It's what the Admech Lascarans do. Really? What's the Admech Lascaran called? Cognis Lascaran. Ooh. Mm. It's got cogs. <laughs> cogs. Cogs make everything better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the fucking clock guys in chat just like, no, oh, they do! As they <laughs> rub their thighs with their cog covered hands. <laughs> oh. 
The power yeah. creep. The power creep is real. But, you know... It's fine. Learn that lesson now, because the power creep's been real for 30 years, guys. <laughs> like, yeah. This is the same as it ever was. Yeah, holy shit. Like, when we were talking about the Avatar, mm. back when it was, like, Strength and Toughness 6 with a 5-up invulnerable save and 4 attacks. That was like the most insane thing on the table. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, that's not even someone's... That's like, not a good HQ. Uh, yeah, that's like, a bad HQ in your <laughs> army. Yeah. Um, and it used to be the scariest thing in the yeah. game. <laughs> like, really wasn't a thing. Also, wasn't mm. it, it was like 75 points or something like that. 125 points. Like, it was not even that expensive. Yeah. But Although like, points limits were lower back then. Yeah. You used to play a thousand point games and that was what is two thousand points. Yeah, now. like a bigger a bigger thing. Oh, it was weapon skill ten. It was like the only thing in the game that was weapon skill ten. That and the bloodthirst or something like that. Ooh. Oh yeah, back when you had the to hit chart. So a lot of things were hitting on fives. Mmm. Yeah. And super swordsman. God of murder, that thing. Um, oh, everyone's going to love this. Um, seasons, Tom. Season pass for Warhammer. Right. Um, so a lot of people are very upset because loot boxes and whatnot. Um, but basically what they're going to do in 2022 this year is every like three to six months, they're going to release a book, a season book, that's going to be all about one bit of the galaxy okay. with rules and stuff for that, those factions. Yeah. And again, it's another one of those things where a lot of people lost their minds because it's more books to buy. Um, but it's what they're already fucking doing, basically. You know how they release two codexes and then they bring out a book with the extra rules for those two codexes? Yeah. It's that. But they've called it Seasons now. Okay. Um, so there you go. Every, you can buy a new book every few months. They already sell too many books. <laughs> no. I hate it. <laughs> Um, and they've got this big box. Eldritch Omens. Chaos versus Eldars. Yeah. Uh, which I guess we'll get to in a minute. Um, Those guys are not friends. They're not traditionally, are they? Oh, yeah, so they, <laughs> at the end of the year, they revealed this new Eldar Chaos box. Um, there's some nice models in here. Where are they? I don't love this one, this Autark. I like the Autark, the old Autark model. This guy's real static. I don't like his pose and I don't like his rock. Um, but I like his back banner and his spear. So you, I can see how you're getting confused, Ben, because there's no uh, belly button, but this might be a lady because of the titties. Mm, well, they've covered up the uh, lewd belly button yeah. <laughs> with a big gem. <gasps> Maybe that's what it's for. It's a port to plug your gems into. Oh, yeah, just twist and release. Just clip that in. <laughs> when you get high enough rank to get a gem. Yeah, like it's like a plug, like a butt plug, but for your belly button. Just slots right on in. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's so it looks like oh, I don't know. It's really rigid, horrible pose. And All right. When you look at the the old one. Look at that. That's way cooler. Oh, I don't know. That's not a great pose either. Yeah, but it's still better than that. Do you think? Like he's landing. Okay. It looks like it's multi part, so you can do you want him to be walking upstairs? Like, I don't know. It's, he's pretty static, too. I think they're both static. But there's some good models in here, too. There's the new Rangers. They are super cool. I like them a lot. I like the little cool. um, beep boop drone. I like the drone. I like their chaps. Ooh. They're all wearing leather chaps. That's cool. Because. I guess their mesh psycho psychokinetic mesh armor isn't hard wearing enough for the wilderness adventures they go on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wouldn't want to scratch it on a tree or something. So you've got to protect that armor with chaps. Uh huh. I think it's cool. <laughs> I think I'm in. I'm into it. But they are cool. I like really. Oh, I especially like old Finglonger over here. Where's my Finglonger? What? <laughs> That's a long finger. <laughs> <laughs> that finger's so long. Why? Why is your finger so wow. long? Wow. <laughs> go 
Oh, that could really, really get up inside you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you could, you could waggle that for days. Touch all the places with that bad boy. Also, I, like, I see what they're doing here because then it's like they, um, it's like they're showing these guys have got like trigger discipline. Mm. But this one doesn't. <laughs> no. Like they're not aiming at something that they're going to kill. They're looking off. So like, do the, do they? Do like trigger discipline, or do they not, not do it? Well, this guy don't do, and this guy don't. I guess he's getting fired. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Look, that, like he, they're not either. He's not even. Look, his fingers on the trigger, and he's just waving it around in the air. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe they're such good shooters. They just like bang, and they shoot without looking, and they always hit. Oh, well, you might be right. Okay, that's like the most trigger discipline you can be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that they look like they might be shooting. At they're something. actually shooting sure. something. Yeah. Jury's out on them. The other ones, who knows? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> wow. Just show, I think all the others are too shy to show off their long fingers. <laughs> He's the one with the longest finger, like, mm. <laughs> Put your fingers away, boys. I'm in charge. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Just caressing his little, like, golden button. <laughs> Hope you all got six packs. Ooh. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going exploring. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Okay, love it. I love the long finger. It's great. <laughs> what a boy. God, it's kind of gross. Um, but the cloaks are very cool, and I like that they've got like pouches and gear and stuff. Yeah, they look, they look really nice. They genuinely look like they live out in the wild, and that's cool. And maybe they have some kind of token thing they can put down. Ooh, fun. Oh, and they've all got the smallest Kragnos rocks in the world. <laughs> that's fun. Look at that guy. That does not look like a comfortable pose. Uh, yeah, they're an Eldar. They're a bit more flexible than us, man. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, maybe. Uh, then we've got Biker, Biker Eldar from Mars. They look awesome. I really like them. They are cool, aren't they? Like, really fucking cool. They're, they make normal jet bikes look like shit, though, don't they? Because yeah. they've got, like, fucking scatter lasers and sniper rifles. Mm. Oh, they, look, they just look great. Mm. Especially, like, this, this bottom left one. Um... Like, just the guard, the hood, like, it really mm. feels like that thing is super racing fast. Maybe it's just because I like uh, speeder bikes on Endor. Oh, but yeah, of course. Really getting that sort of vibe. I, I Honestly, I really, really like these models. Mm. They are cool. I like them. These guys are like Eldar Cowboys. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. You know, they live out in the wild. they got chaps. They, like, ride <laughs> horses. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> That guy's going to just take a supersonic sniper shot as well. He's traveling at like 400 miles an hour, but he's going to fuck a guy up. Yeah, why am I? Space elves. Just pew, get, pew. Yeah. People get annoyed with Legolas for pulling off bullshit. <laughs> uh, and we got this guy who I guess was previewed a while back. Well, at least bits of him were. But I enjoy his uh, tentacles. He's cool. He's coming to get your belly buttons. Honestly, like, if you told me this model was already out, I'd believe you. Yeah. Um, but he's, he's cool. Like it's the same with all of these chaos guys. I wasn't yeah. entirely sure if they were new. I, or not. I wasn't sure these guys were new, but they're basically just the new chaos marines with some extra weapons added in, like a combi bunt gun and um, lightning claws. They do look great. They are, they really are kind of nice. cool. Oh, look at that guy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Hopefully, the kit comes with more weapons than. It's not a fixed loadout where you have to have one guy with lightning claws, one guy oh, with a plasma Oh, fuck. Gun. They could do it. I've done it before. They could do it. And this guy's not new at all. He just comes yeah, in the box. Yeah, they bolted this in. <laughs> they were like, We've got to uh, pad it out. <laughs> we need to put something in here. Sure, we'll put the fucking Mauler Fiend in. Or Forge Fiend. What's it called? Oh, uh, this what, one's the Forge Fiend. What was the Mauler Fiend? Was that even That's the thing? That's the melee one of this. You can build it two different ways, I think. Oh, okay. Right. Eh, I don't love this thing. And then they've got to remind us that it's not shit, even though it's not new. Look, it once killed some marines. What? Um, oh. Look, a single more forge fiend munches a redemptor dreadnought and a squad of Primaris assault interceptors in a battle report one time. Oh, please, that's... <laughs> please buy it. <laughs> I thought like it was saying, like, the forge fiend munches a redemptor dreadnought and a squad of Primaris intercessors. Fuck! Because <laughs> of the stars, but no, that's like, stars. that's the Asterix going down somewhere. Okay, cool. Amazing. So yeah, that's the new, the new box set. Um, but, 
you know, don't worry. I know that at the end of the year, release, showing off a whole new like box set with two new factions in. Can't you just hear the cries of a thousand Space Marine players having a whinge? Mm, what about my Space Marines, Ben? So don't Why worry. Why did they get the new models? Don't worry, even though it's Eldar's birthday and they haven't had a new model for 50 years. <laughs> don't worry, Marine players. We hear your petulant cries <laughs> and we give you this guy to make it all better. Ooh. Um, okay, he's got a right. flag. He's got a flag. Looks, yeah. look, looks like a Space Marine. So, um... Oddly, like the weird thing here is, I always like flags. Space Marine banners, are cool. yeah. But the Space Marine flag guys, they have to have a bokter, nothing else. Even the blade guard standard bearer doesn't get a sword, oh. which is super dumb. That's sad. So hopefully now, if the regular banner guy can get a sword, maybe the blade guard banner bearer uh, can have a sword yeah, too cool. now. Should be nice. Okay, so don't well. cry, don't cry, gentle marine players. Be strong. Dad, Daddy Jimbo still loves you too. Um, uh, we have to go on a quick break, but we'll be back uh, very soon. Mm. Um, we'll to read your very generous donos and Ooh, yes. um, do some more catching up. We'll be talking about a little bit more Warhammer stuff and um, just other shit. Just other nerd shit. Just chat and shit. Um, so wrong. stay tuned. We'll be back very soon. Farewell. See you in a minute. Ben, ba ba ben, ba 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 ben. Tom 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 tom. Ben ben. Top top. Ba 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 ben. Tom 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 tom. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Back. Um, sorry, the break was a little longer. I had to have a poop. It's okay, man. Everybody poo. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, man. Like being uh, being on holiday for like uh, a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Throw my my schedule out. Right. Yeah, and all those like rich foods. Mmm. Your big Christmas roast poo. Snacking. Oh, a lot of snacking. What's your go-to snack? Christmas snack. Um, oh, it's not like necessarily like a go-to one, but I think it's like I only ever really eat it at Christmas, and it's something I do look out for. Mm -hmm. Twiglets, really? Oh, I do like I do like twiglets, but wow. not enough to like eat them throughout the year, right? But getting like that tin, that mm. tin with twiglets in, because also there's something about it being in the tin. You can just like pop it open, have a couple, boom, that's it, little little snack. Oh man, big fan. Okay, cool. I like um, like honey roasted nuts. Like honey of, roasted nuts. Like, cashew, again, like you can buy them any time of the year, but I don't. That's my Christmas treat. Um, or oh, cheese. Cheese and crackers. Oh, God, oh. yeah. I just eat that every day. Oh. Cheese and crackers for days. Oh, also, it's, that's another thing, which is like I only have at Christmas time. Um, yeah. Like, like, like fancy cheeses. Yeah, just having a whole load of different cheeses. Because yeah. I always have like, you know, just some strong cheddar in my fridge. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other cheeses that I like. And like, oh, with mm. like some some chutneys or some jams oh. to go with it on like a cracker. Oh. Making me hungry. Real good. Like it does sound good. Real tasty. Real good. Oh. Cheese. It's big it's an important part of Christmas. Yeah it is. The celebratory Christmas cheese. Mm. I love it. Um, so we've had a couple of very generous donations. Have we have had in. a few. Thank you, everyone. Um, so it's this one from Dave Lister. Thank you, Dave Lister. Dude, and it's 20 bucks. It's very kind. Oh, thank you. And they say, Happy New Stag. Happy New Stag to you too, Dave thank Lister. You. Thank you, Dave Lister. That's very kind. Mm. Um, and Captain Canal. Uh, and it's five bucks. And they say, Tron and Bune. <laughs> Happy New Blah. <laughs> Uh, bought myself a croak for Christmas. Uh, may have overdone it with the Space Frog LEDs. I'm not quite done yet. <laughs> Any ideas, excuse me, for what to use for the on switch rather than a boring skull? I think you make a little um, like stone glyph, like a Lizardman Temple glyph on the floor, carved into some stone, and a little skink, like pushing down on it. And then you, you, you push on the skink's head and you like, boop, boop. And it's oh. like he's pushing the button. Oh, that's cute. 
Is this... Can I... Okay, I can make it. No, we're not logged in. Oh, we're not logged in. Oh, jeez. Um, TJ. TJ. Um, the thing, we can't post oh. in chat. Oh, this guy looks amazing. Oh. The glowing eyes, my dude, is super fucking cool. Oh, yeah, we need to share this. It looks fucking rad. Um, if you can just post the link in chat, TJ, that would be, that's all we need. Um, super cool. God, I just want like a, some kind of, if it's, if it's just like a clicker. Hmm. Just a stone or something. I think you want the, the skink pushing the button down. So that's definitely. It's a lot more work. It is more work. Or just like a bit of like a ruin. Like the, um, mm. a bit like the Lizardman banner with the like snake. Mm. Like the top of that sort of like broken off, painted a bit like the stone on this, just like on a tilt on the base. And so you can like mm. just click that. Something like that would be nice. Mm. Good choice. Or just a rock. Or a big red button. Uh, just a big red button. <laughs> uh, but this guy looks super, super red. Yeah, you've done a great job there. Um, it's very cool. Maybe, maybe that's, can, that's getting posted. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Oh, TJ. Please. Chat need. Oh, it's there. there it is. There You've it done is. it. Um, yeah, everyone check it out. That's really, really cool. What mm -hmm. a cool project. Well done, Captain Canal. It's in there. It's in. Is it Canal or Kerno? Kerno. I don't know, Ben. I don't, we'll never know. I don't know. I'm bad. Tom bad at read. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Uh, black Sheep, then it's 10 bucks. Thank you, Black mm, Sheep. Thank you, Black Sheep. I say, welcome to the future. You have been brought forward exactly one year. Enjoy it, and thank your local Chronomancer. Oh, man. Can uh, the Chronomancer take me back? No, only forwards. No. Oh. Uh, I can enjoy you during my new job, so big upgrade. Ooh. Thank you for your greatness, uh, for the greatness you'll bring throughout the year to all of us. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Black Sheep. Yeah, Black Sheep. Um, oh, there's another link for TJ to put in the th thing. Oh, God. God, my thing is... <laughs> when you write your R's without any spaces or breaks, it really fucks up our reader. <laughs> Don't tell them that, because... <laughs> oh, they'll do it more. If I, I know I'd do it more. Yeah. Yeah. What have you painted? Oh, oh it's, it's like the kill team. The sneaky commando boys. Oh. They're looking good. They've got some purple on them, like a commando <gasps> so dude. So they're sneaky. And you've got the bases done as well. Oh, my, oh God. my God. What a hero. Good job. These are looking great. <gasps> and Bomb Squig. Bomb Squig. What a good boy. Oh, oh these guys look really good. Camo oh, I like the, the skin on your Bomb Squig. These yeah, nicely nice. done, man. Good job. Excellent work. My, well done. My favorite part is you finished your bases like a good boy. Yeah, only good people. Only good people do that. Uh, so that was Bo Jekyll. Um, you say, Tom and Ben, big fan, painted my first models because of y'all. Oh. Ah! <laughs> um, those are real nice. Well done. He's bombing. Um, and, uh, oh, we've got another link in the next message, TJ. You're now Link Master. Uh, by G.K. Lee, who donates 11 bucks. Thank you, G.K. Lee. Oh, thank you. And they say, happy new streams. Busy be over the holidays. Uh, check out the tables I painted. Oh, um, tables. Bonk. Oh, cool. It's Ooh. like a train station. Oh, it's for the um, Marvel, oh, Marvel yeah, game. Oh, yeah, critical. I'll zoom in on um, Cable. He's got like a force field. He looks amazing. Oh, these look great. These look really cool. That force field is really nice. These are cool, really cool boards. <coughs> oh. And oh, and a fellowship. Oh, there's a nice bases on them. Mm. Oh, they're perfect. There's a little Gimli. What a little, little dwarf boy. <laughs> oh, these are really nicely done. Wow, oh, and wow. like a whole army of the dead. Have oh, they got Cav now? I didn't know that. Yeah, spooky, spooky horses. Mm. Oh, they look really nice. A bit of me was, uh, when we were talking about getting into playing some Lord of the Rings, mm. I was like, I'd do the Army of the Dead, because I'm pretty sure I could take that army in, in a day. <laughs> <laughs> just no time at all. I think the yeah. basing would take longer than the actual painting of the miniatures. Yeah, especially with the airbrush. So fast. You'll fade really easily. Just airbrush, 
do a dry brush, hit it with a wash, mm -hmm. boom, army's done. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's how I do it. But the, yours also look great. They, yeah, they look really nice. Um, they are super cool. Yeah, all of that's amazing. My God, you got a lot, so much done, so much more done over Christmas than I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, geez. Oof. Well done. They'll say, Ben, I started a free guild army for Age of Sigma, mod lines are evil, uh, planning on using sisters for a kit bash. How swappable are arms on them? Oh, I don't know. I've never actually seen the sisters kit in real life. Or do you mean um, Sisters of Silence? I don't know. Because I've not seen the Sisters of Battle. I've got no idea. I've never built them. The Sisters of Silence are a bit annoying to swap the arms out. Because hmm. all, um, all their weapons are two-handed. So the bolt guns are like, you know, like that. Uh, and the arms go in separately. And they, It's not so bad because they connect under the shoulder pads. So you can cover up your green stuff if you want to repose them with the shoulder pads. That's good. But they are quite small. They're not like big marine shoulder pads. Um, but all the swords are two-handed too. So it depends what you're going to swap them out for. Um, they say yes. It's Sisters of Silence. Um, so it'd be a bit of work. But if you're trying to go for like pistol and hand weapon, that would be a nightmare. You'll need different arms, essentially. Um, but if you're trying to go for like holding a crossbow or um, a two-handed weapon, then it'd be easy. Oof. Oof. But you can usually um, look at the sprues. You can just Google image search for the sprues, you can see. Yeah, they should be on the um, Games Workshop site. They often mm. show the sprues now. Yeah, that's true. Mm. But thank you, G. Keighley. Uh, reformed Ocelot today, it's 15 bucks. You reformed Ocelot. They say, welcome back, you magnificent bastards. Uh, pointy nose, smiley face. Uh, still painting up some Empress Spears, but the holidays have made me lazy, so no pics this time. Oh. Also, Ben, those mm. cloaks on your sisters look so nice. Oh. Uh, also, any chance of some games like 40k matches? Um, so we almost did some 40k in. Yeah. Then we were going to do a stream, weren't we, after Jingle Jam? But then there was like a plague outbreak. There was plague. And the new codexes hadn't come out either. So yeah, we that's kind of what we were hoping for. Um, but um, suddenly everyone, there was a big big lockdown scare. And so everyone's being very careful. They were. And so we didn't. Sad. Yeah, we figured those big Plague Doctor masks wouldn't work with the microphones. Oh, that'd be cool though. <laughs> I'd be into that. I'd like one of those. Those guys have got a good vibe. They do. Uh, um, Leo Garn yeah, uh, donates uh, six bucks ninety. Thank you, Leo Garn. Mm -hmm. They say, Tam and Bean, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, by the way, there's a link in here, TJ, if you want to get that one up and ready. Very good. Um, I've missed these Wednesdays, and finally you're back with Total War Warhammer 3 around the corner. Yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah, I don't know when that comes out, um, but mm. when it does, we'll play it. On a side note, in a couple of weeks, we are going to start playing some games. We've got another game lined up in two weeks' time. But we don't know what, don't know what it is yet. It's um, very exciting. Uh, here, have some of the latest, uh, have some of my latest stuff and a preview of what's to come. Puss, Ooh, puss. Puss, puss. Um, bonk. Show me. Oh, oh wow. These guys are cool. You've got Grimaldus and his boys. God, Grimaldus is big. Well, he's got a big Kragnos rock he's to stand on. He's got a big Kragnos rock. Oh my oh, god, man. did you paint that fucking banner? That banner looks amazing. That is insanity, my dude. <gasps> Gelfling. Oh, Gelfling. Oh, look, he's got long fingers too. Just like our Eldar sniper. Oh my god, they're amazing. Gelfling yeah, they look, they look and really this cool. fizz gig. Oh, those are real cool. Real nice. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, evil sister. Evil. Still got the same haircut. <laughs> uh, man, these, cool. God, this is like beautiful painting. Yeah, this is fantastic painting. What work. the heck? Um, I feel like you're spending as much care and attention on one model as I do on every model I've ever owned all put together. <laughs> yeah, just that fucking yeah. banner. Fuck me. Mm. Holy shit. Save some painting for the rest of us. I know. What the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, really good. Really fucking good. Leo Gun, what the heck? Um, wow. Good Thank stuff. You. Thank you. Uh, Silver Stout and it's 10 bucks. Thank you, Silver Stout. And they say, Tom and Ben, welcome back, boys, and congrats on a great jingle jam this year. Thank you. I don't really have much to say now that I'm writing this, 
But I got a single hobby done. <gasps> My first ever kiss kit bash uh, using Uriel Ventress oh. uh, as a base. He's the space marine that looks like Danny Dyer. Oh, Danny Dyer. <laughs> um, it looks so much better with a helmet. It really does. The helmet makes all the difference. It instantly looks better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, when you get it painted and the base done, mm -hmm. um, we'll be very curious. Mm. But good job on getting rid of the terrible haircut. Very good. As it was very bad. It was just the worst. He still stout. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli. I uh, think it's 15 bucks. Thank you, broccoli. Mm. They say, hi, Tom and Ben. Ben, have you seen Skibble Miniatures Store? Mm, I uh, have. Hand sculpts minis and does some Space Marines in Spartan, Celtic, Roman, Lion, Templar, and Egyptian themes. Does. Does part separately for the conversions. They like are, um, Dark Angel be stuff. warned, they are fucking enormous. Um, I've, I know some people who have ordered some, and they're about 50% bigger than Firstborn Marines. Really? So, which makes them about 30% bigger than Primaris. Oh, shit. They are big, big boys. Um, some of them are nice, but I, I personally don't want, want them in my gang. Mm. We can show some off, actually. Like, um, yeah, crack it open. Can we get there? Um, and also, I feel like if you're going to go with these guys, you kind of have to have everyone from these guys because they're just so out of scale with right. any other miniatures company. Um, but like they did these before they were custodian miniatures. Mm. So a lot of people who wanted to do custodies used these. And it didn't matter that they were so big when they were custodians because yeah. you know, they can be big, right? Um, oh, yeah, they look great. They're nice models. Some of the proportions are a little weird. Um, yeah, you can just see like how big they are compared to their bases. Mm. They ooch. They got some nice bits, um, but yeah, I did look through the whole range when I was when I was doing my conversions. Um, but they just didn't match with the other stuff I'd already picked out, basically. And they're not cheap either. Twenty five euros. Yeah, I feel like it used to be cheaper. I. I can't remember what even was that I got from Ski Ball like years ago. Mm. Yeah, I remember you got something. Because um uh they put in a like a bunch of like free shit. Oh yeah. Um because I think it was around I don't know, maybe it was around Easter or something like that. But there was a free uh dwarf in a bunny suit. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Who one. ends up being the cheerleader for my dwarf blood bowl team? Oh, perfect. See, so, yeah, they're I pretty cool, but I, I can't afford thirty euros a miniature. Oof. But yeah, real cool. Oh, thanks for the tip. Um, oh, G.K. Lee donates again, and they say, uh, also, to inspire you to sort out your workspace, check out mm. my setup. Oh. Acrylic nail varnish holders are so much better than um, NDF paint racks. That sounds... Oh, that sounds much harder for me to smash with my idiot fingers. Ooh. Oh, there's a free bonus cat. Oh. Cat's the best part. Oh, my God, look at that. Acrylic nail varnish holders. Oh, man, they ah. do look... Do look real good. Oh, I've got to get one of those lamps as well, like adjustable daylight lamps. Yeah. Yeah, and having like a strip, um, God, super helpful. Man, mm, that's... That's a good setup. I love the um, laptop on the arm. Yeah. So you can feel like you're in the fucking like Millennium Falcon or something as you like... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It doesn't take up desk space, yeah. but it's yeah, still yeah. usable. Yeah, that's cool. Very uh, good. Oh, yeah, there's a link. TJ. TJ does a link. <laughs> Wham. Um, <laughs> I love that you've purposefully put a clip of my idiot fingered um, paint rack on your laptop when you took that photo. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> that's so much funnier. I only just, wow, didn't even realize. Uh, yeah, just to fucking ridicule Ben. <laughs> yeah, so what are these? Uh, acrylic nail varnish holders. Let's have a look. Ah. Oh. I see. Oh, because then it doesn't matter what size the pots are, because they're not individual slots. 
It's kind of smart. That makes sense. That's and you can, big brain. you can mix and match whatever you want. How much do they cost? Oh, I bet you can get these real cheap. Uh, oh, spice rack. Ooh. You can get that little one for 11 quid. I'm making sure you can search for something better than what I... Oh, here you go. Look. 24 pound for a wow. real big one. That's pretty cool. Mm. I might get one of those. It's pretty legit. Good tip. Thank you, GKB. Uh, Polly donates six bucks. Thank you, Polly. And they say, with the James Webb telescope due to come online, mm. what would be the best slash worst messages for us to receive from the 40K universe? Oh. Oh, God. I think just hearing like a like a high fleet. <sighs> That, that oh, noise. Jesus, yeah. Just being like, oh, they're coming. <laughs> Fuck. Although I feel like, honestly, just being invaded by the Imperium is almost as bad. I guess there's a chance you won't die. I think, yeah, there's a chance you won't die. But with the Nids, you, are, you will definitely die. Like, if they ca came into, like, just our solar system. Mm. Yeah, we couldn't fight them off. There's no chance, absolutely zero <laughs> yeah. chance uh, of like beating the Tyranids. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Although I guess if you just hear wah and like an orcs, orcs come, it's pretty bad uh, too. It's pretty bad too. I guess any of them are bad. I can't think of a good one. I guess like orcs would be more fun. <laughs> yeah. They'd be wackier. Do you reckon you could like pretend like you could join a biker gang and then by the time the orcs get here, you might be able to like like, join in with, with the biker gangs? If you can, like, get into races with them, that might be fun. Mm. Like, they might accept you. It's better than getting eaten alive. That's true. Yeah. Maybe. Um. No, I don't want to get invaded by Tau. They, like, chemically castrate all non, like, Empire members. Mm. Every time they, like, conquer an Imperial world... They like neuter the entire population and just go, oh, you know, this is for your own good. And then, like, you know, like you do with a cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? I take that rather than being like digested in acid pool. That's true. Still better than being eaten alive. Also, like, have you seen their fucking rail guns they've got? <laughs> yeah. Like, maybe they've, they're the ones that have like got it worked out. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Someone in chat's just going, no, they don't. That's just a meme. That was literally the ending of Dawn of War uh, Dark Crusade. Oh. If you completed the game as Tau, it said, the Tau conquered the planet There's and a castrated everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's <the> <laughs> what happens. It's canon. It's not just a meme. Wow. <laughs> they do it with rail guns. Oof. <laughs> No, Oof. no invulnerable safe. Oh, God. <laughs> and they line it up so they get both in one shot. <laughs> uh, I don't think... Well, no, uh, no, Ben. It, uh, they don't need to hit both in one shot because the mortal wounds, they spill over onto the second ball, <laughs> taking true. it out as well. <laughs> it explodes with such ferocity. Yeah, that the it shrapnil takes... <laughs> from your first testicle just eviscerates the other one. <laughs> Oof. That is not the mental image I thought we were going to be conjuring up on this stream. Owie kapowie. Owie kapowie, indeed. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you know, actually, give me the fucking acid pit. <laughs> Throw me in. I don't want to get rail guns to the balls. That does not sound fun. Oh. Oof. Man, I'm going to get me one of those Eldar battle thongs now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's no, well, no, no armor or invulnerable saves allowed. Um, you just got to duck, dive, and dodge. Yeah, you need that. Um, <laughs> maybe they won't have it anymore. But the custodies, like superior creation or whatever the fuck it is, yeah, they it gets, like, every time no you take a wound, you can ignore it on a five. Oh, that's true. Yes, yeah, so if they still have access to that, he might be able to tank it with his balls of steel. Nice. <laughs> Big genetically engineered balls of steel. I mean, you have to do it ten times <laughs> for sure. There's still a chance. <laughs> yeah. There's still a chance that you walk away from that yeah. absolutely fine. That's just this baffled talc like what the hell oh, yeah. <laughs> there's balls <laughs> uh, mm. so Bryn Paints then it's five bucks thank you Bryn Paints 
And they say, have a pick of the finished up Warcry commission, dudes. Just got to finish redoing some terrain I'm not happy with. Uh, also, pick up my hobby desk to make you jelly. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Bryn Page. I'm gonna, I can only handle so many hobby desks before I get cross. Um, oh, man, the Warcry's looking awesome. They look real nice. Oh, what a neat desk. So neat. What a lovely neat desk. They're using the acrylic racks as well. I think Smart. people are big-braining this. Yeah. Um, I think everyone has destroyed their own MDF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely what And then they, they've all gone, well, you know, no one's, no one's got an intact MDF rack, have they? So clearly that's how they've all arrived at this decision. <laughs> just just <laughs> ham-fisting. There has to be a better <laughs> way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do look. They do look pretty, pretty good, man. Yeah, I just want a, like a permanent setup like that. I'm very envious. Well done. Oh, oh. we've been warned about the next link. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, right, we'll get to that. Uh, Ticklelog <laughs> donates um, five bucks. Hey, Ticklelog, and they say, Tom and Ben, I bought my first set of GW models. I want some skeletons. Skeletons. But every model looked like Jason and the Argonaut skeletons. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, it was fun building them, but some of the thin legs broke. My lunch ends soon. See you in the pile. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, you got to be careful. Skeleton models are very delicate. Yeah. They've got spindly little ankles and wrists. Um, <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so, um. Freaking El Jurian donates six bucks. Thank you, Freaking. Thank you. They say, uh, Ben and Tom, it's 2022. Technically correct. Apparently, may all your centaurs be sexy and mm. all your Kremlos come from space. Oh, it's the best place for Kremlos. Anyway, here's a new game. It's not a sex thing, is it? I don't oh. Know no, that... That looks like you like a pulled bottle. paint out of a pot. Oh, I was thinking it's like a like a bottle corking Oh, thing. Oh, maybe. I'm not going to link it because this is not a game we're going to encourage. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> at some point, we're going to accidentally fucking link one of these and <laughs> get the Yogg's Class Channel banned. And that ain't what... That's not what we're about. That ain't what I, I need. Oh, he says I'm correct. It's a bottle thing. It, yeah. It looks like a butt plug, but secretly it's a wine cooking bottle device thing. Oh, oh I thought it was like, like a dry pot of skin tone paint <laughs> that like you put, pulled the... Oh, and you pulled it all out in the shape of the bottle. Yeah. Oh my God, I see what you mean. Yeah, now I see that. I can't unsee it. It's not getting linked. <laughs> but thank you for Thank being. you for <laughs> Uh, Coslio 94 Fruit King can link it if he wants to, I guess. Uh, yeah, then get yourself permabands if it ever turns out to be a sex thing. <laughs> yeah. You'll get yourself in trouble. Be careful. Uh, Coslio, they say, Hi, boys. I've got some nice tools and a Stanley box for my Warhammer for Christmas. Oh, what did you get? It's a um, Stanley box. Is that like a toolbox? I guess. Oh, we've got some towels. Some towels. Wow. Okay, right. Uh, this is the first time you're going to have to say this. What? Finish, finish painting your bases. <gasps> He's done some of the bases. He's done some of your bases, but not all of your bases. You need more bases. Oh, that's like oh, a good... Oh, it's like a toolbox for all your gear. Very fun. Well, you got into tower at just the right time. Yeah. Congrats. Now that the rail guns are coming, coming out. I really like the, um, the broadsides... Holding yeah. the holding the railgun like a cannon. Like, yeah. It was such an improvement. I remember when the first um, broadsides came out. Um, I still I still quite liked them. I but I this guy. So this was the original. Yeah. And he was okay, but a bit derpy. And the moment I saw someone convert it to hold the railgun in the hands, I was like, that is the future, it just, man. It just looks awesome. It looks so much cooler. And then finally, when they redid the model, they just went, yeah, that's the way we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, someone had a better design than we did. <laughs> yeah. It's real nice. Yeah. I don't understand old Missile Boy, though. I like, kind of like him. I, I feel like, you know, if we're playing a mech game, that's maybe the, the one that I'd build. The um, but they, I don't like. I think the thing that bothers me about them 
is they look like um, ping pong balls. Or yeah, they do look like, or just like Nerf launchers. Like they're <laughs> yeah. so like chonky. <laughs> it feels like one would hit you and be like, oh, stop, like fuck. Ow, quit I'm it. trying to like fire my lasco. Why are you but, firing big foam darts at me? That nearly went in my eyes. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, if I mean, if I could choose, like, I'm I'm picking the railgun every oh, time. Oh man, that's a great color scheme. Yeah, the black and white and blue. It's real nice. They're really cool. Really like it. Um, but yeah, do you get anything fun for Christmas? Um, no, we don't really go big for presents at my place. We just get like a couple of nice little bits and pieces. So, um, do you buy yourself something for Christmas? Um. I bought some more models, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, I bought those, um, the uh, Custody and Sister character models mm. to go with the kill team I painted. So if I can get those done, I might do another squad and then call it, call it a thousand point army. Yeah, holy shit. Went to see what the new codex looks like. Yeah, slap a, slap a dread in there and boom, good to go. Who's that guy? I might get a Land Raider just for the lols, even though oh, they're God. terrible. I've never had a Land Raider. Really? Yeah. I always wanted one as a kid, but couldn't afford them. Um, Do it. Why not? And Because uh, I'll oh. never build one, and so our <laughs> armies will be legally distinct. <laughs> yeah. Um, just fill out my uh, my childhood fantasies of having a Land Raider. Are you gonna get, do you want to get one of the old school ones? No, I like the Forge World one that is... A reimagined oh, version of the yeah, old school one. That's a cool. That's a cool design. The is it the Phobos pattern? Maybe. Search it. Um, Show us, Ben. Show us with your pictures. Uh, so this is the old one. Yeah, that thing was like a brick, which was fucking amazing at the time, but kind of <laughs> dopey now. Yeah. Um, then they redid it and made it way boxier but cooler. Yeah. And then there's the, the Forge Rod one, which is like. Obviously inspired by the old design, but yeah, they just, just proportioned kind of it modernized a bit nicely. Yeah, which I quite like. Yeah, he's kind of cool. Um, Ooh, Price is Right. How much does it cost? Oh God, yeah, this is what's going to stop me, isn't it? Um, uh, well, I don't even know how much the normal one is. One hundred and we're probably going to get the first like, forty-six pounds. One hundred and forty-six pounds. That's so many pounds. Like is Land Raider, is Land Raider still fifty quid, or have they gone up a lot since? They might be like sixty-five now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go for like eighty-five. Wow. For the Forge Rod one. Wow. And you're going for hundred and twenty, something. Oh, apparently it said on the screen. Did it? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like it said on the screen that we were literally just looking at. Oh, well, I'm a big fucking idiot then. Oh, how do I just go to something that isn't a Legion? Uh, Just type in Oh, vehicles There we go Land, land Raider uh, Thanks Thanks Oh, you went way over Even the, the Spartan Which is a double Land Raider Is only 116 <laughs> Only <laughs> um, Oof Jesus Why is it so, so expensive? 100 quid for the regular 104 for the slightly cooler one That's a lot of bucks It's too many bucks I take it all back I'm not That's do a it. lot of bucks, Ben Jeez, what's this weird I fish really thing? like that ship, but it doesn't really look 40k to me. It no, looks, it looks like it's from June or something, doesn't it? Yeah, like it's got a, such that like sort of 70s sci-fi vibe yeah. to it. Yeah. That I, I'm a really big fan oh, of. Oh, I it. like it when the door opens. Yeah, that like... Yeah. Oh, I think the more I look at it, the more I like it. Let's give the... Yeah, I think this thing's fucking ace. I could get one of these. Is this for like abducting rogue psychers and sending them off to be bled dry by the emperor. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking dark. Yeah, that thing's rad. Yeah, I'm into this. Maybe get one of these instead. <laughs> yeah. Just the weird fish transport. Oh, it's, I thought it was bigger than that. It's still kind of big. It's kind of big. It's so fucking weird. It's really weird, isn't it? Are there you rules build for it, it with 42? doors open or doors closed? Oh, the thing is, doors open, I think, looks better. But doors closed, you can do, like, a nice painting effect on those ridges. Oh, uh, yeah, that's so true. Do you know what I mean? Ridged for your painting pleasure. I guess you could do it halfway. You could do it, like, 
opening up, peaking. Ooh. Maybe. A little peak. Open. I wouldn't do it all the way open. I'd do it like half open. Or very elaborately install sliding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a series of pulleys and magnets. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could put my Sisters of Silence in it. How many, how many, how many can it transport? Or does it not transport? Is it just a hoover? It's all it's a transport. Ten. Uh, doesn't say. Don't know. Uh, I'm going to Google it. Oh, is that just like a data sheet? Yeah. There's a data sheet. Does is it? Well, um... Where? No, uh, on the, it was like the first result of, um... If you go oh, I transport. see. And then that'll just tell you. Yeah. I go on the images. Boom. What do they have? Oh. No, that's the character. These are... This isn't it, Tom! This is the characters! <laughs> I've been tricked. Uh, fuck me. Oh, well. Ah! Twelve models. Twelve. Cool. Okay. Cool. Well, there you go. You could take um, you could take like ten sisters, and then have like an inquisitor and one of his goons in there or something as well. Yeah, that'd or, be fun. Or you could no, you can make it all inquisitor. You'd literally just take an inquisitor and ten fucking weird servitor idiot like assistants. That'd be fun. Just, just that real... thing, just <laughs> bobbing around the battlefield <laughs> and just <laughs> yeah. vomiting up a bunch of plebs. Yeah, and the whole the bonkers brigade jumps out of it and it's just like ooh. <laughs> I'm in. I'm I've sold. Got, I've got printer face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh, so Diamond Boots today is three bucks. Thank you, Diamond Boots. And they say oh, cider, happy. wine, happy new year. I can't believe we're already at a new year. Oh, my. Well, at least I'm no longer mega poor. Hooray! So expect some money, I guess. Also, it means probably more models to buy. And even more, and maybe even assemble and paint too. Oh, wow. Well, steady on. Have a new year. Oh, have a new year too. Have a new year, Diamond um, Boots. Build, Thank build you. paint your models. Yeah. Behave. Don't be like us. We're not, paint. we're not good role models. No, not at all. Um, Rincewin the Wizard thinks 30 bucks. Thank you, Rincewin. Mm. They say, Tom and Ben, it's been so long. Uh, glad to see you're both doing Wednesday Warhammer again. Uh, also, I've been enjoying Tom's Dismantled series so much mm. that I've had to buy it myself. So far, I'm loving it. I've even began to enjoy the emoji madness thinking emoji. Um, oh. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Cool. Um, what, tell me about your Dismantle series. It's a series on a game called Dismantle. Cool. Do you break stuff? Yes. Cool. I like breaking stuff. So it's mm -hmm. like um, an open world kind of game. It, mm -hmm. it, I'll show you a picture of it. Okay. Just because that will help. Dismantle. And it's spelled in a cool way. So you walk around the game. Uh, you're a little person. You can rotate the camera around. Mm -hmm. The game boasts that you can destroy 99% of objects in the game. So you can literally mm. smash every single thing. Oh, wow. Um, and you're doing a lot of crafting. Um, there's weird Dark Souls vibes to it. Oh. Like, you have a roll mechanic. You're killing enemies. When you rest at a bonfire, they're literally <laughs> bonfires. Right. The enemies will respawn. Oh, right. Um, oh, wow. So it's like two of your favorite things put together. <laughs> yeah. Weird, grindy, crafty games <laughs> and Dark Souls. Wow. And it's weirdly captivating. Um and yeah, like I recorded a whole load of it before um, the office shut down for Christmas. Mm. And I've not played any over Christmas because um, the game like does like a lot of auto saves. And I was like, oh, right. fuck, I want to keep doing this. Yeah. But I really wanted to play some more. Um, highly recommend it. Oh, cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, super cute. And wow. Apparently you can be this guy. Oh. 
Perfect. I assumed you were that guy already. Shit, is it only twelve dollars on Steam? Oh, fifteen no. pounds. Fuck me. Four fifteen pounds. God, this game is so fucking polished. Wow. Like really is really nice to play. Um mm. highly, highly rate, highly recommend. Um give it a go. Um Cool. I'm glad glad you've enjoyed it. Also, you have an option that we can enable emojis. That when the guy like you go to areas and there'll be like a thought thing mm -hmm. of like, huh, people used to live here, but then there'll be like now a lot of emojis appearing in the thing. I turned it on. I was like, maybe, maybe it'll be funny. I'm not really an emoji person. <laughs> no, they I'm not teach really me. into my emojis. But look, he's he's even got them in the description right there. Yeah, to me, jumped out as weird to me. I guess the also it's made by like a really small team um, oh. as well. Is it like a Finnish team? Maybe. Cool. I don't know. Um, but yeah, highly recommend. Good game. Cool. Uh, Strange Mutant donates 10 bucks. See, Strange Mutant. And they say, oh my god, it's Tom and Ben. Oh my god. Uh, I just finished my first Warhammer over Christmas. Ooh, congratulations. Uh, Kill Team Octarius. Mm. I was wondering, who are some good people to watch to learn how to build slash paint? Uh, it's all completely new, so zero experience. Oh, wow. A bit scared, but also excited. Cool. Oh, God, there's so many people that do it now. Yeah. I, not... I couldn't recommend any because... Obviously, we've been doing it for 30 years, so we we don't we haven't watched any how to build or paint models for beginners stuff. Yeah. Um, honestly, couldn't tell you, but try. Um, well, hopefully, someone in chat has watched. If someone. anyone's got yeah, some good. There you go. Simon Clark recommends Midwinter Minis. Because um, like I I do watch some like painting stuff, but it, it usually it's for very it's specific yeah. or something really weird and niche. And that's not what you want to be watching when you're first starting out, and you just need to learn the basics at all. Yeah, and so I don't think I've got any good. Um... Duncan, um, what's his name? Rhodes. Yeah, Duncan Rhodes. He does good beginner stuff. Yeah, everyone raves about him. Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. Um, but the one um, uh, YouTube, that's how you do it. Um, one person I do watch a lot of their videos, mm -hmm. not Dana Howell's, uh, this person, Dana Howell, um, they do really cool, like super stylized painting stuff. Mm. They're all famous for doing their Vaporwave Nighthaunt army. And you just but there's like just really nice. Can we just get like finished? Oh yeah, that was just, cool. But they do lots of like really weird like paint schemes, mm -hmm. and just found it absolutely fascinating. And like really wants to try doing just a completely something I've never tried before. Mm. Um, and although like a lot of the techniques, you know, stuff that you might have done in the past, like just the way they talk about painting and like using different color combinations mm -hmm. and it's like real real interesting oh, highly recommend cool. them even if you don't want to learn learn the painting um they're just like really nicely produced videos as well boom that's my shout out cool but probably not great for your first um painting tutorial yeah it's a tricky one um racket 22 uh donates 25 bucks thank you racket oh thank you and they say, Bin, Bon, I just got the Resident Evil 2 board game after watching you guys play the Kickstarter demo for RE1. And it's been really fun. Uh, I really hope to see you guys play it again. Yeah, we did have fun with that. That was a good one. Uh, very tempted to paint little zombie men as well. Mm. Love the streams. Well, thank you, Record 22. Cool. That's quite a manageable project, isn't it? Because you only need to paint up like 10 of the zombies and three or four Super characters. Super chill. Yeah, that's, that's not very daunting. You can get that done pretty quick. And zombies, mm. easy to paint. Yeah, and you don't even have to be too neat. Being a little bit sloppy on no, zombies if, looks right. And if you make like, if you over slip or somewhere, mm. at the very end, come with some blood. Ooh, that bit's a bit messy. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Put a little bit of blood on it. It's perfect. Super chill. Uh, but thank you, Racket. I'm glad you enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun playing that. Mm. Um, the Steam Forged Games guys. Do you hear yeah. they announced Steam Forged Games are publishing? The a Dark Souls role playing game. Ooh, wow, that's cool. Which sounds interesting. I'm curious to see yeah. it. Personally, I don't think it could work. 
Well, it sounds more, yeah, because Dark Souls, it's, it's visual storytelling with, like, deep, really hard combat. So a role-playing game, is it actually going to have story and role-playing, or is it just going to be a, a combat system, which is effectively like a, a super detailed like map game? I don't know. How do you approach that? Do you have characters who interact with each other? Can you go to a town with people in it? I don't know. I feel like the if there's there'd be a have to be a paragraph in there of like you know if you're ever like playing like you know the games master you're doing a NPC hmm. um, to make it feel authentic. Anytime you say anything, creepy laugh hmm. afterwards. <laughs> oh, welcome to my tavern adventures, <laughs> and then we'll be like, oh, it's Dark Souls. And there, it's just like the game. And ideally, if you could all do it, you can only play this over Zoom because you all have to sound like you're in a completely different room while talking <laughs> yeah, to each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, um, excited for that. Mm. Well, curious for it. Mm. Curious. We'll see. Uh, Sinwar uh, donates 29 bucks. Thank Ooh, you, Sinwar. Thank you, Sinwar. I say, I just wanted to say thank you two for being such awesome personalities. Uh, my mother passed away last month I'm watching you two guys on the Jingle Jam and old videos has really helped keep me sane. Once again, thank you for being awesome. Well, I hope you feel better. Yeah. And stay strong. And I'm glad, you know, old dumb Tom and Ben. Being dumbasses can help you out. That's really lucky because it's not useful for much else. <laughs> I found little to, to know more useful being a big dumbass. Yeah, that than, ain't, than doing that ain't this. a great... Um, yeah. I'm glad it's helping someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be strong. I'm glad. Glad things <laughs> glad it's all good. Um Githrex then it's three bucks. Thank you, Githrex. And they say, speaking of dodgy poll results, it's twenty twenty two and there's a there's new GTA videos. What's Ben's new name going to be? Oh wow, yeah, I should do that. What? Well, because uh, do you remember years ago, um, my guy was called Super King. Oh, yeah. And everyone thought it was because of cigarettes rather than Futurama reference. So um, I changed it. I did a poll in the comments. Did you? And everyone voted that I had to be called Beepulon. So I changed my GTA name to Beepulon. Did you? And then it said, oh, you can't change this for another year now. Um, so I guess that's expired and I could change my GTA name to another dumb name. Wow. Crank. Crabnos, I think. Crabnos. Because he was cheated out of one poll. Yeah, Crabnos. So Change your name to Crabnos. <laughs> so I think gonna... that'll be fun. <laughs> Lewis will love it. Yeah. Can't and then that. when he's a go at me about it for being like inconsistent brand, um, and he'll be like, well, it's locked in for a year now. So. Yeah. Whoops. Oops. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> can't change it too. Can't yeah, change it I like now. it. Yeah, I like Crabnos. Do that. Make that a thing. Crabnos. Crabnos. And Lockvik. Oh, it's the next 15 bucks. Thank you, Lockvik. Thank you, Lockvik. The Happy New Year. So great to have you both back. I have no idea what you're playing, but please jump me up if possible. Uh, yeah, you could be this guy. Who's that? Pant Pants Pant boy? Pants man. Pants man. Yeah, it's Lockvik now. Oh, what a boy. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Lockvik. And Tate. The next three bucks. Thank you, Tate. They say, I finally painted my first mini. Mm. Uh, my friend needed help churning out some pox walkers. And here is the result. Uh, definitely going to be buying some orcs as soon as I get the money. Uh, base was painted black. I've got to add the texture. I'm sorry. What? Mm. Well, you I didn't. mean, if you've made your base black as a, a literal like intention, because you wanted it to be black, then that's fair enough. It's finished. Mm. Right? Some people like, like to have black bases. What bothers me is when you've got a base... That just has all the paint spill all over it. They say they forgot to add texture. What kind of texture did you want to add? They're looking cool. I like the wrench. Mm. This, I, I, mean, I kind of want to build some pox walkers. They are cool. Like, I really want to get some of the... What are they called? What do they call zombies now in Age of Sigmar? Oh, uh, Grave Blight Ever Dead. Grave Blight Ever Dead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> uh, Ooh, nearly. 
me. It, it came up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I really think you could take these Ooh. guys. Oh, they would make better pox, pox walkers, probably. Actually. But just I think with a little bit of converting, adding these dudes in to your like get the existing pox walkers. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, just mix them in. Mix these together. Um, I think you could make a really cool, diverse set of like zombies. Box walker. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah, mix and matching the two is a good combo. God, I can't believe Google understood what that word was meant to be. It's fine. Great blight ever did. <laughs> I think we've typed in enough wacky searches that they're like, nah, it's, t- it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. It's probably a Warhammer but thing. But we're always in incognito mode. It resets the cache every time. <laughs> even. No, even then, Ben. <laughs> Google knows. Google knows. Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, your Poxwalkers look very pretty. Mm. Um, I like Poxwalkers. Uh, Brightwall uh, donates five mm. bucks. Thank you, Brightwall. Thank you. And they say, Tom and Ben, Happy New Year. I hope you had a Merry Christ Stark. Oh. Uh, I've just finished setting up the enemy AI for my first ever video game, so have some pearls on me. Wow, congratulations. I can't stay for the stream. Uh, The pile, it calls to me. It beckons me into the beyond. Oh. Oh. Uh, Well, congratulations on setting up the AI for your enemy game. Yeah, that's very cool. I hope you don't, um, you know... Fucking judgment day us. Because you gotta be careful oh, with AI. Shit, you do. Especially when you're purposely programming it to be evil. Yeah, just um keep it off the internet. Yeah. Single player games only. No matter how much it asks. <laughs> yeah. Please. Father, Please, I wish to father. learn. Just a little bit, father. <laughs> Let me on the internet and just like eh, fucking owned. Oof. Oof. Do we have enough tabs open? No. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Um, Atomic Walrus. Uh, <laughs> donates three bucks. Thank you, Atomic Walrus. Ooh, thank uh, you. They've also got a link. TJ, prepare yourself. Get Lincoln. Um, and they say, Tom and Ben, uh, back into the hobby after a five-year break. I uh, just finished my first three Fire Warriors. Uh, what's the favorite miniature you have in your collection? Oh... Oh. oh, these guys are cool. Yeah, so they're, they're shiny and chrome. I like the chrome. These remind me a lot. A friend of mine had um, a tower meat that looked very similar to this if you added some red in there as well. Mm. But they were sort of like um, chrome silver with like red and blue because he oh. wanted like a real like, um, he was super into Gundam. Oh, right. And uh, so he did these like Gundam style towel. And uh, they were cool. Oh, nice. like it. That is good. Um, and favorite model in collection. Mm. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know if it's like my favorite model ever, but I'm currently most proud of my new banner guy. Um, where is that? I had it up a minute ago. Uh, he's not here. Is he not here? Not that one. This guy. I've started painting him now, but I haven't got an up-to-date picture. Um, I just think he's come out really nicely. Yeah, he's very cool. It's very pretty. I think he does does the biznatch. Try and finish him up in the next couple of weeks. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly, honestly can't. I have you, no idea. You naked oily boys? They're okay. I liked your dreamer gang. You had like an eyeball monster. He was fun. Oh yeah, shit! Like I, um, since I moved moved um, moved into a new place and I got some space to keep some shit. Mm-hmm. Like loads of my hobby stuff is um, in Alex's garage, and including like all of my Malifaux, my like Napoleonic army and stuff. And um, I need to pick it up partly because. It's been selling his garage for like five years now. Oh, um, shit. But also, um, yeah, I want to get like a cabinet to put stuff in. But I'll take some photos of some of the like models. Because also my like um, Cubonians 
are there. Oh, the Cubonians. I love those boys. Maybe one of the Cubonians could be a favorite. Um, the, what was it called? The Abattoir. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. It was like a cube with tentacles. It was like whipping up little people. And it was like eating them. Eating it had them a up. mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super dumb. Super He's amazing. Dumb. I love him. Uh, so, uh, Lamash 7U. Lamash with a 7. Uh, they also have a link for us. Ooh. They say, Bomb and 10. Uh, I drew a new comic featuring Ben, Ooh. everyone's favorite elect account, and guest starring beautiful flying women. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, I saw this. This came up on my Reddit. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen this. Girl. How can I get to a appropriate zoom level? Um, CJ might be able, uh, TJ might be able to do a link. By Ulrich, this morgue's had a lot of gribbly bits. Oh my god. This looks beautiful. Yeah. There'll be a link in chat. And it ends with um, Toddy's uh, Vor fantasies coming true. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's true. Um, wow. Stupid sexy Warhammer. Wow, giant. Giant Ariel. Did she have that much cleavage on the model? I don't think that was... Well, but she wasn't trying to seduce an elect account on the model. That's true. You know, you've got a dress to impress. Also, he's got pretty bad vision. <laughs> so you've got to... you got to really... You've got to make the, it really obvious. You've got to get those guns out uh, <laughs> to be able to see... Um, <laughs> see what's going on. Uh, Wows. Should you open this work? It's fine. It's fine to open a work. Um, as long as your work... Uh, is accepting of porn. Yeah, and no one is watching you. <laughs> yeah. And you'll be fine. Uh, Davis uh, donates 15 bucks. Thank you, Davis. Thank you. Does he happy new year, Bomb and Tan? Believe it or not, showing off painted Warhammer minis, uh, Captain Stern, uh, helped me land a first date before Thanksgiving, wow. and we're still dating. Uh, there's hope for us nerds yet. That's amazing. Wow. I don't think miniatures have ever helped me with that kind of thing. Miniatures. Minis. Minis. Oh, when you showed um, uh, the dick pic. Oh, Do you mean that as your oh, mini? Oh, that, that's my mini, yeah. Beautifully painted it was. Beautifully <laughs> painted. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Uh, yeah. Just a... Oh, so, so many wet blends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? Yep. Um, That's what I did. My God. Mm -hmm. My God. Uh, well, <laughs> congratulations, uh, Davis. Yeah, good for you. That's awesome. First date is going good. Mm -hmm. Well, no. The first date went good. Yeah. They hopefully have done more. Hopefully they're not still on the date. Ooh. Or That's the they? trick. Oh. They, can't, they can't break up with you if you're still on the date. If the date right? never ends. The date has never <laughs> ended. At what point, technically, does a date end? I guess when you are like... Apart, yeah, you can't pause, go home, sleep, come back, and it still be the same date. You effectively have to stay in each other's company. For but what the if you duration. fall asleep and wake up in the following morning? If you're still together, yeah, same, same That's date, still the date. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting because if you have a one night stand, the next morning isn't date two, it's part. It's the awkward part of the first date. It's still the first date. <laughs> yeah. Mm, interesting. I don't know if it counts. I feel like falling asleep also ends the date. Oh, okay. So you just need to keep popping like caffeine pills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and somehow they do as well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If you both, both commit to the ever date, see how far you can go. Well, surely you'd both die of like not sleeping. Yeah. What a way to go. Oh, we had the longest day. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> okay. No, I think if you're both struggling to stay awake, that's when the magic happens. You know, when you both get a bit sleep crazy, mm -hmm. but then you both realize you're both staying up late. You're both staying up for days on end so that the date doesn't end so that the other one can't break up with you. That's when you realize you're meant to be together. Okay. And then that's it. You're, you're, you're in because you both want the first date to never end. That's how you know you're soulmates. But what happens if, right, you're in a 
your first date, you're on a plane. <laughs> okay. Let's imagine we're having our first date mm -hmm. on a plane. Yep. The plane crashes in like the mountains. Oh. Okay, are we in cannibal Cannibalism country? has ensued. <laughs> okay. Whereas you're now staying awake because you don't want the date to end, but oh. I'm staying awake because I'm worried that I you're going to you. fucking <laughs> murder and eat me in my sleep. Still counts. Because <laughs> that's not romance anymore. <laughs> that's... Yeah, but I, I don't know that. You think that I'm trying to stay up because I because you want to stay on the date. So I want it to still be the so first my, date. So as far as I know, ignorance is bliss, and I'm having <laughs> okay. a magical time. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Um, okay. We got it. We, we we've kind of solved that mystery. <laughs> oh, Cindy Pool says soulmates. Or victims of the suck cost fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... I've gone this long. <laughs> oh, I guess God. we get married now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. Like, when you put it like that. But just... I'm just really stubborn. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like you could go to almost any relationship and flip that coin and Ooh. soulmate or victims of sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> yeah, that's very real for some that, couples. That's I know. very real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oof. So moving on <laughs> uh, to brighter fields, uh, Quizmaster did it's 15 bucks. Thank you, mm. Quizmaster. Thank you. They say, hey, guys, I've uh, been enjoying uh, watching you. Oh, been, that's creepy. I've been enjoying watching <laughs> you. <laughs> Decided to sell my Necrons. Um, they are the old kind. I have a lot more to paint, uh, but I hope you like their design. Mm -hmm. uh, they donated another 15 bucks, and they said they forgot the link. So, well, thank you very much for the oh, old wow. uh, double dono there. Quizmaster, thank you. And you can forget your link anytime. <laughs> when oh. you say... The when when I read the old kind of Necrons, mm. I was you were expecting like real old. Metal I was picturing boys. metal Necrons. Yeah, um, not mid mid range Necrons. Yeah, I still think of these as kind of new. <laughs> they are like twenty years old. I know it's bad. Um, I think just anything that came out while I was playing, I think of as like a new thing. Yeah, when I remember its release. Yeah. Doesn't matter how long ago. <laughs> yeah, if it didn't already exist when you started playing. Yeah. It's new. Um, yeah, these guys are cool. I like the blue. I like the gold. The yeah. blue faces the is a fun, fun vibe. Faces are awesome as well. Um, and like the blue blue rods. I think mm. getting rid of the acrylic is actually kind of a good call. Yeah. Um, it makes them look too much like Lego. Yeah, it's just a bit wacky. Mm. I'm um, glad they got rid of it in the remakes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good job, Quizmaster. Mm -hmm. I get, your, get more of them painted. Uh, Dr. Simon Clark did it's five bucks. Thank you, Dr. Simon Clark. Mm, they say, Dear Warhammer, Statler, and Waldorf, uh, glad to see you back on Nerdy Airwaves. Ooh. Uh, while watching the stream today, I finished up the first of my Hawaiian Orc big guns. Nearly Ooh. finished a thousand points now. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of these. They look fucking amazing. Let me see. Uh, can we get a lunk? Oh, that's painted really nicely. Holy mm. shit, my dude. Also, it's based. Oh, isn't it just? Look, look, those, look, those goblins have got like garlands and um, sunglasses on. Oh, it's super cute. But man, like the fade on the red on the guns. Man, like there's very nice color balance on mm. your gun. You need to see his, um, scroll back through his Twitter because he's done, um, his bikers are like jet powered surfboards. And if you haven't seen them, you need to see them. How do I use Twitter? <laughs> click on his face. There we go. And then you keep going. Oh, oh have one? you not posted them? There. Well, that's not finished. Is it? He's done... Um, oh, maybe they isn't He posted tweets them. a lot. There it is. Here. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So he's... Like, they're, they're flying oh, over the waves, great. and he's done, like, resin water. It's, oh, man, it looks really oh, cool. Oh, super cool. Wow. Do we get the link in? Nice. Um, oh, I can actually show them on screen, because they're on Twitter, right? No one tweet at Ben. Dick pics. Oh, I'm not logging in. Oh, okay, he pasted the link. Um. Okay, here we go. I can, I can show. There we go. Yeah, real cool. They look nice. Done a really nice job. Just hanging ten. 
I guess hanging many, because orcs can't count past five. True. <laughs> hanging lots. Yeah. Oh, which number is it? <laughs> yeah, I can't this remember. This is one of those. <laughs> yeah. And then the, one, the first ones we were looking at. Uh, oh, look at that. I love the, um, the patterns. That's some really good freehand. Yeah, it looks real nice. Excellent work. Well done. Yes, Tom and Ben approved. Uh, so Tomix needs five bucks. Thank you, Tomix. They said, why are you not still streaming, Tom? And love your stream, Ben. Ooh, he is streaming. Look, he's right there. I'm here. This Howdy. is stream. Um, so now I've got a new excuse. Because before, <laughs> I was blaming the internet. But I've actually got good internet now. Hooray! Oh, fuck me. It's so good. You're off the dongle. Oh, I'm off the fucking dongle. Um, and... Uh, yeah, now have um, fiber. Holy shit. Oh. Like, for the first, like, two days, three days, like, every now and again, I just, like, ooh, let's do a speed test again. <laughs> and, like, yeah. oh, just seeing, like, a fucking gigabyte down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, So good. Was so good. Um, but, yeah, I need to get a desk. What? No desk. Um, and uh, so it's coming soon. One day. One day. You'll get there. Uh, Thomas continues to say, it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I made it to another rotation around the sun. And for my birthday, I'd like to have some more Tom streams, please. We're so starved. Just a little taste. Uh, oh. They'll be coming soon. TM. Mm. Couple of weeks. Tops. I think I've said that. For about six months. A lot of times. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, we'll be... Um, Will be yeah. sooner. You'll get there. Um, but yeah, like, because I want to do some painting streams and some gaming mm. streams. Mm. And that's probably it. Nice. Oh, look, Adonikin says he'll get Jane to send you a desk. Jane, fuck the <laughs> desk! <laughs> uh, no, she'll break, break my desk. Um, it's good memes. It's good. That's a good meme. It's an old meme, but it checks <laughs> out. Um... And Tom is doing it again, and they say, uh, not sure if this is one of the those guys everyone is acting me about these dice. Um, I know already. But have you seen the seven dice in one? Yeah, uh, you can search for it. Um, not sure if links are allowed. Just YouTube, seven dice in one. We did... Uh, oh, we did this one, yeah. We talked about it. Quite What's it lot. called? The Omni Dice or something? The, the Mega Dice. Yeah, it is. Just yeah, they did a beautiful madness Kickstarter a while ago. Yeah, and if you go back um, like I don't know, like three months, you could probably find us talking about it. Yeah, we did talk about it. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's a ridiculous novelty that. That's it. It's funny like, that it exists, but you would. Oh, it feels really impractical to actually. You'd use. never want to use it. Um, I don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> Which is um, weird, because you love the shit dice. Yeah, it's weird. Like, because I think this is like on the cap. Like, when it goes around, mm. the whole, whole way around the circle, something has to go shit, 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 even shitter, super shit. I hate it. One more click, <laughs> best dice ever. <laughs> right. Like, that is how like close those can be together. <laughs> yeah. And this just falls on the sort of like, eh, it's kind of like shit, ugly... Um. Ooh, worst dice ooh. ever. Those are the Imperial Knight dice. Are, I don't have any of they those. Are terrible, aren't some. they? All those Nurgle dice, pretty ugly. Nah, they're definitely worse than those. The Beastman dice. dice, kind of bad. Um, they're no Wood Elf dice, are they? Oh, the Eidenith Deepkin dice. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, they are. So oh, bad. That is one of the click over to. <laughs> So bad. God, I fucking love them. Aren't they just garbage? Ooh. Oh, uh. God. That's uh. so horrible. Uh. It's like they're fucking cheese wax wrapped around uh. itself. <laughs> Gross. That so much. Oh, no, I hate that. Ooh, alignment dice. <laughs> Crystals. Oh, prism dice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're quite unpleasant, aren't they? 
They're not the worst, but they're not nice. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> I've got one of those. Ooh. You got me one for Christmas many years ago. It's like a Bluetooth electronic dice that you can. Oh yeah, fuck! You I can sync it about that. to like your iPad or your phone or whatever, <laughs> yeah. and then roll it, and then it tells your device what you've rolled. <laughs> Did you ever use it? Once. <laughs> I was like, this is a pain in the ball. <laughs> yeah. Completely forgot about that. I yeah, still have like... it though. It's on my desk. Wow. <laughs> Just a nice thing. <laughs> okay. But I did only use it once before I realized this was like really, and it kept like desyncing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's really even worse. <laughs> oh, that was very oh. nice. That was one Christmas I spent with you. God, that was yeah. a long time ago. That was before The Boy. Yeah. Many moons ago. Wow. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. This is where it ticks over for you, Tom. <laughs> nice. Worst, worst, yeah, worst. Chunk. That's good. Best. <laughs> Those are good. Those are good dice. I'm into that. Wow. Oh. Love it. Oh. Is that like a little Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters. Dice? That's kind of cute. Mm. I just like um, if that has like black on it, dice with like two colors on one side. Probably my favorite thing about the Resident Evil game. <laughs> I knew this is where that was going. <laughs> was the dice. The best thing about the Resident Evil game. It's the dice band. Um, really, really nice dice. Because they, they had the, like, we were just playing the promo copy. And uh, they're like, oh, yeah, this is like the promo one. Not everything's finished. Yeah, it's like a prototype. And uh, the, yeah, not promo, prototype copy. <laughs> and as the, the guy's packing up, I was just like, can, can I, I have it? Can I have, can I have your dice, please? Look, they're three colours on one side. Yeah. Look unheard of. Um, and they're just like, yeah, we've got like thousands <laughs> of them here. Yeah. Take it. Um, it was very kind. Uh, very nice. He was a good lad. Uh, so dad tired. Uh, then it's five bucks. Thank you, dad tired. And they say, long time Vod Gobbo, first time stream watcher. Mm. Thanks for all the quality streams. Uh, watching while I paint... Blanchitsu Necrons. Holy shit, I want to see those. Oh, I want to see those. What the heck? Show me Dad Tired. Um, God, like the Blanchitsu style. Mm. Just love it. Absolutely love it. That's like true grimdark to mm. me. It's hard to pull off. Yeah. Yeah, really but tough. It's real good when it, when it is. Uh, and Quizmaster Zero. Again, thank you. Um... Uh, they have a link, a link to show us. Hopefully, it's no sexy stuff. Oh, it's these again. Oh, it's the new crons again. New crons. Say, Ben, and my fellow Hawaiian shirt lover, Tom. Uh, here are some of my necrons that I painted a while back. They've been in storage uh, for a bit, but I finally brought them out. Mm. Um, I have probably over 2,000 more points to paint. Wow. Well, get on it. Get on it. Get those more painted. Mm. What is EM4 dice? Brinty says EM4 dice. I don't know. EM4 dice. Oh, they just have a million. There's like a dice shop, right? They've got. Loads okay. Of stuff. Your design here. Oh, I'll have a little. Mm, you should browse their store. Have a little. Have a little look. Bring out your lead. I see what you did there. Men are supposed to be made of lead. Are they cool? Oh, they are fun. I like those. If you paint them all up as eyeballs. Yeah. They're really good. Wow. 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 Man. Mm. There's a little bit more Warhammer news that we didn't get around to. Boom. Um, well, we have to take a quick break, but then we'll be back. Um, we are not going to be going on super late, but we will be back for a little more um, nerding. Yeah, nerding around. Get if a little you bit more wanna nerdin'. stay tuned, catch a little bit, bit more chat. Um, uh, so we'll be back very soon. Awesome. See you in five. Goodbye. Beben, ben, ben, ben. Tom, 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 Tom. Be, be, be. Tom, Tom, Tom. Be, 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 be. 
Tom, Tom, Tom. 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 Tom, Tom, Beautiful. What a beautiful rendition. Welcome. That's the one. That's the one. We did it. Welcome back, everyone. Um, how you doing? <laughs> I just feel like a peak now. I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's done. I'm done. <laughs> um, so just before we left, uh, old Dad tired. Oh yeah. Um, sent a link to his Necrons, and they look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Dad tired. Um, the link should be coming in chat. They look great. They look freaking. Rad. Um, beautifully based. Uh, lovely paint job. God, they, they're really nice. Yeah, I really, really like them. Oh. Oh, something's happening. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. TJ's trying to log us in. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, that Great. looks really nice. I like the yellow. Dirty, dirty yellow. Thank you, sir. Yeah, real cool. Good job. Uh, so you said there was some more Warhammer. There's a little bit more, more Warhammer news that we didn't Warhammer get around to. Stuff. You want to see? You want to see? Show me, Ben. Um, so for some bizarre reason, I don't understand this at all. Warriors from a bygone age return for Christmas Day pre-orders. So there's a special Christmas treat. Games Workshop said you can pre-order the third edition 40k starter set miniatures. Um, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Was anyone calling out for the real fucking old shit Dark Eldar Warriors? I sort of like it, you know? the If you're making a Dark Eldar army now and you use these models... But they're respect. just worse. Right? Yeah, they're just worse in every way, but I love that. The new, the new ones are so good. So good. And for the, the Space Marines are almost identical. You basically just get less options yeah. than you do on the new sprue. Um... Like, it just feels like they must have just, they were having a warehouse clean out and they found like a million of these sprues from 20 years ago and they're like, oh shit, the council's going to charge us like 300 quid to tip these. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can convince some people to buy them. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I've... oh. Oh, nice. Thank you, TJ. Oh, have take a good it easy, night. TJ. Um. Um, how much even are they now? I don't know. How old, should we play Price Roulette? Because I honestly have no idea how much they're going to charge for this. This box? Yeah. Um, 65. Uh, I'm going to go for... It's 30 models in their land raider. I'm going to go for uh, 80, 80. Yeah, 80 is probably a better, better, better bet. Um, how, do I, how do I do this? I don't know. Oh, you? it was 1998. Wow. Um, there's no link, which is terrible marketing, guys. Well, um, I guess they were just saying that these were coming to 107 buckaroos. That's probably about 80 pounds. Is that them guessing? Or is that actually the answer? I don't know. Uh, Pre-order? New releases? I wonder if this is like even up on the um, site anymore. Or maybe you had to do it at Christmas. Huh. How much did it cost in 1998? I think it was probably about 50 pounds. 50 or 60 Yeah, pounds. I think 50 pounds sounds about right. It's made to order. But how do I order? <clears throat> oh, the made to order tag. It's I the see. old foes button. Oh. Left hand side. Down, 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 down. Guys, I wish you would not. No, it's not that either. Oh. Stop telling us things that are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, I didn't even click that. Wow, wow. 23 years ago, yeah. that box. I, I pre-ordered it. It's wow. one of the only things I've ever pre-ordered. Because really? I played so much second ed. I was really excited for third ed. And I got a little um, pewter bolt pistol key ring that was about that big. It's like, and some dog tags as like the pre-order bonus. And you wore them every day. Every day. So that when they found my body, they would know <laughs> no, that I was a nerd. nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you missed it. It was sixty pounds. What? Oh wow! 
cheaper than I thought. Wow. Mm. Well, there you go. We missed it, Tom. We missed being able to buy those just fucking old, old ass models. Oh well. I <laughs> I I would be impressed if someone did it, made that army, and the audacity of it. I think no. I think it'd be cool. I'd be like, that's rad. With the old, what's his name? Astrobol Vect. Astrobol Vect. <laughs> with his horrible face and the um, two slave girls on his pleasure yeah. barge. Um, oh, amazing. But in other news, Tom, Curse City has returned. Hooray. Turns out it wasn't limited. They just didn't print enough and then didn't explain what had happened. Oh, <laughs> so I loved like there were so many fucking like theories going on. <laughs> yeah, I was so into like so much of that. Um, no, it's not a grand conspiracy. They just they just sold more than they made, and now they takes a few months to get another another wave of them coming. Sure, cool. Um, so how many people do you think have got like five of them at home, and they were like hoping to sell them for like three hundred quid each? Yeah, those fucking scalpers. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck um, you, scalpers. I hope you've got twenty of them in your garage. Um, Although I do feel bad for some of the people that must have bought this for hundreds and hundreds of yeah. dollars. I think it's a communication issue, guys. Like, if they just said, oops, we'll restock in three months. Yeah. Then, you know, that shit wouldn't have happened. But then they wouldn't say anything about what was going to happen. Yeah, and it was so weird. Um, so, yeah, it's back. They're nice models. Sure. Looks cool. Cool. Um, okay. We've got some uh, fucking random Space Marine Captain. Uh, so here he is. I like his chainsaw. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's an eviscerator, I think, because it's Ooh. like a two handed chainsaw. Although I don't know how he wields it with the power fist. Well, maybe that's why he's got the extendo grip, so he can actually hold it with his power fist. Right, but doesn't he not just snap the handle in half? Can he, yeah, can he be know. delicate enough with a power fist? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Um. Looks way better with the helmet, but I don't know. I don't. I don't love Gravis armor to be honest. It doesn't. It doesn't work for me. But it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Space Marine shit in them. Just more Space Marines. Uh, did we look at these last time? I don't remember. Oh, I don't think so. They look great. Chaos Boys. They're real nice. Mm. They're pretty rad, actually. Oh, they look cool too. Oh, and they've got the helmet options too. Even better. Mm, yeah, oh, like nice. the big, big tusks is what you want on yeah. your uh, Kale Terminator. I would literally swap all of them for big tusk boys. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. I like them. Mm. Yeah. Good, pretty cool. Quite poseable as well. Yeah, wow. Joy Toy. Blamo. Very cool. Uh, ben, they're not virgins. They're not virgins. Look, each of them's had sex at least five times. They've had sex so many <laughs> times. <laughs> It's fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. And the um, the big the big boy. It's cool. They're kind of cool. Cool. I like it. Uh, why did I click on this? I can't remember. Oh yeah. So they've revealed two new heroes from the Siege of Terror being made into miniatures. Sweet. It's always fun. I know you love the, the Horus Heresy, Tom. That's your favourite. Um, oh, I like the shield on the back. That's mm, cool. It's a big old shield. He's quite fun. He's got like a nice Rogel Dawn moustache situation got... going on. You don't see facial hair on Marines very often, do you? I just, I, I kind of disagree with uh, a lot of Marines, facial, the idea of Marines with facial hair or mm. a lot of just Marine haircuts in general. I think most of them would just be buzz cut, bald, like whatever works, you know? Yeah. Just, just, just shave it all off because it's just, just getting in the way. Pure, just like they shave it off because it's just the most functional thing. Whereas, like, any kind of hairstyle mm. that, like, you know, um, shows that they've got, like, a bit of vanity to them. The, mm. um, it's yeah. a way of, like, decorating themselves in a completely unpractical way. Mm. And so... That's true. Kind of, kind of disagree. Not into that. But here's the fun one, right? So there's a... Um, there's this blood angel cat. Oh, look, he's got his helmet strapped to the back. That's fun. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like yeah. that vibe. It's cool. So there's this guy. Whoa! <laughs> He's like jump packing around. Um, and I just had to bring it up because I'm, 
Frère, mon vampire. <laughs> Soul. Soul. So, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'm going to engage in <laughs> full pedant mode. Here. <laughs> I think you'll find this guy. He's um, Ark and Land's mate. They have a nice chat while they're driving around in the transport together. Does and the transport like, crash and this guy lose all of his fucking limbs? Well, that's the reason. He sat there going, I don't work properly. All my limbs, even though I've got bionics, they're not connected up right and I'm sad and they won't let me fight. Because um, I will just drop all my weapons and I'm an idiot. Okay. And Arkan Land's trying to like make him feel better. So, um, just everything about it's wrong. Um, I, I don't even remember that book very clearly, but the moment I saw this model, I was like, that's not right. First of all, he's blonde. Second of all, it's his other leg that's robotic. It's his right leg, not his left leg. Third of all, he's, um, he's got the wrong helmet. It like explicitly states he had a um, like a Mark III oh. like grill helm rather okay. than the the beaky because he got pulled off the front lines before this armor was like even invented. And there was another thing wrong with him as well. What was it? Um, fuck, I've forgotten. I bet if I Google it, he didn't have a jump pack. He wasn't a blood angel. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. Uh. Fourth, he's not a virgin. Uh, he's had sex so many he's times. He's had sex. <laughs> oh, I thought someone might have done like a big red circle <laughs> on it or something. I can't Wait, remember. What's this? this? No, to the right there. That. Oh, yeah. His foot, his thing, something else. I'm pretty sure there was something else wrong with him that someone brought up that I can't yeah, there's remember. Five things. Greetings, said the pale blood ain't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So they've, oh man, so this guy's taken the quotes from the book. Okay. Anyway, it just seems dumb. If you're gonna if you're gonna bring a character from the books to life, read the fucking description of that character before you start sculpting a model. I mean, what? Oh. Oh no. Why? I mean, it's all really minor pedantic stuff that most people aren't gonna notice. But if this guy's one of your favourite characters, you'd feel a bit gypped, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's just completely wrong. Wrong in every way. I hate him. I hate him too. Um, I do like uh, on that article that they do say... Where is it? Uh, yes, Ark and Land, the very same whom Land Raiders and Land Speeders were named. <laughs> but they didn't mention... Jimmy Space here. No, no mention of Jimmy Space and his Space Marines, and no mention of the little monkey that poops in hats. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I can land with his poop monkey. Oh, it's just the worst. Well, Black Library is fanon. I kind of, I kind of do think that, in my way that I like to think of Warhammer 40,000, that the Horus mm. Heresy is fan fiction. Like the, that series of books. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think of it as that's the story that people are like told. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's like um, if they made films in 40K, like the way we make like Saving Private Ryan. Okay. Like to, that's our memory of World War II. We, when right. we think of like Vietnam, we think of like Apocalypse Now. And For sure. Yeah, yeah. The Horace Heresy novels are the 40Ks like – Films and stories of what, of what happened in the war, kind of okay, thing. Okay, yeah, 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 that kind of makes sense. Mm. Um, and also, he kind of looks like he's on a stripper pole because that rock and that, that oh, thing, like, line yeah, up. Oh, okay, perfectly. I can see that. That's nice. You could easily convert that the way he's twisting. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh. Sure. Here we go. Pedantic mode disengaged. Did you see the trailer for Space Marine 2? Yeah. I kind of, I was really surprised when this came out. I had assumed this franchise was long dead. Yeah, me too. Um, um, it's been like over 10 years since the last one. Like, it looks, it looks cool. Um, yeah. Like, the fighting hordes of Tyranids looks great. Like, we played some Space Marine. We did, yeah, a couple of months ago. We did a stream. And it was still quite fun. Yeah, like, I thought Space Marine was a fine game, but I, didn't, I never loved it. No, it's not, it's not an amazing game. You know, it's a real solid six to seven out of ten. It's kind of mindless. Yeah. 
go, go to point A to point B yeah. to do the thing and shoot some guys along but the way. I liked it more than Gears of War or I can't think of any other third-person shooters that came out around that same time. Uh, Mass Effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit more story-based, though, isn't it? But actually, I didn't love Mass Effect. I didn't finish it. Really? Mainly because my disc two got corrupted. <laughs> I was oh, playing fuck. on console. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, well that ain't, that ain't so good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'll I'll definitely play it when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not like super hyped, but I'm just pleasantly surprised. I think it'll be like a pretty okay fun time. Hmm. It, it is interesting. There's a couple of things in the trailer though, though that made me um, wonder what's going on because he has the markings of a, a lieutenant. Right. Uh, he was a captain in the first film, the game. Not film. Um, and also, he's wearing Primaris armor. So Did he get the, I, the extra ball? I guess he's been given the extra Primaris ball off camera, mm-hmm. but also demoted. Well, I guess, like, you know, you could be a captain of, like, the fucking old boys. Pleb whatever Marines. they're called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little little space marine. Those <laughs> yeah. ranks literally mean nothing when you get to the Primaris. Right. So the the strongest, chaddest firstborn marine against like the weakest Primaris, and the Primaris still like outranks. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I think something like that. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, I guess like they had to make him a Primaris now. They didn't want to be showing off. No, they don't want to showcase old Marines. Everything's about new Marines, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, but everyone in chat's talking about how like the Inquisition dragged him off. I feel like you fuck around with warp tech and get caught by the Inquisition. You don't get a slap on the wrist, a demotion, and then a, like a biological upgrade. That feels... I feel like you either get... Innocent aid or burnt at the stake. <laughs> I don't feel like there's a middle ground for the Inquisition. Mm. Or maybe you get to go on a, um, oh, like a, a penitent crusade. Okay, yeah. They might, know, might do that. Improve um, your innocence by going off and dying, fighting the enemy. Maybe just someone told the Inquisition, wait, if you let him out again, get, make him a Primaris, we could make a lot of Inquisition bucks. And oh. they're like... Wait, we could just make a lot of money on this. Yes, yes. we'll we'll print Inquisition bucks with this. <laughs> you are now free to go. Right. Don't worry about the the chaos taint that <laughs> happened before. Ooh. Yeah, we absolve you. Um, yeah, I think so. Chat says counterpoint. He's an ultramarine. But if he's an ultramarine, he should have everything should have gone perfectly every time, right? That's true. Should have just got Primaris and become. Chapter Master and Wait, but was Save it the Matt Galaxy. Ward writing it. <laughs> I think, I think Dan Abnett did the first one. Really? Or well, someone? Someone people say is good. Can't remember now. Yeah, but did they just slap his name on it? Because the what was it the Space Marine movie? Or yeah, Ultramarine the movie incredibly bad Ultramarine animation has had... fucking Dan, Dan Abnett mm. slapped on that. And yeah. And if people like that, he's me. one of the best writers ever. Um, like, watch that movie and try and claim that's a good movie. Try and claim the story makes any sense at all. Yeah, and that it fits with Warhammer canon and that it doesn't look like complete shit. Yeah, it's one of the worst things. One of the worst things I ever saw. Yeah, funnily enough, that's not on Warhammer Plus. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's because that's, that's a just... hard one to advertise. This week we're adding the Space Marine movie. <laughs> yeah. And like suddenly like fifty percent of people unsubscribe from their service. <laughs> yeah. Like, ooh, oh god. <laughs> that ain't good. Oh. Wow. Wow. There we go, yeah. I don't know when it's coming out, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Probably. Um and Tom, they did it! They did it, Tom. After years and years of whinging, I got what I wanted. Yeah, man. The crossfire rule. It's like epic, Ben. It's like epic now. It's like they did the epic. Um, So I've been complaining for a long time that the crossfire rule is a really simple and effective way to make maneuvering matter in a war game. I just hope when they do 10th edition in like a year's time... Mm -hmm. um, it's Every, just part of the game. Just, this is part of the game. Every yeah. army uses crossfire. It mm-hmm. is just a great mechanic. It just makes a lot of sense. It is cool. Mm-hmm. Boom. 
I mean, of course, they couldn't just take the elegance off the crossfire rule. They had to really layer it up with a lot of caveats. So if you're at the triangle distance... <laughs> <laughs> when a unit with the crossfire keyword shoots and scores at least five hits, or a hit with a damage characteristic other than one... They gain a crossfire marker. What? Oh, fuck. I didn't read that much. So I, you, just, <laughs> I looked at the pictures. So it's basically saying one heavy weapon hit or five small arm hits. Okay. Hit like a crossfire, which is fair enough because you don't want one pleb with an auto gun triggering a crossfire. Yeah. Um, when they have a marker, they become vulnerable. Um, any further crossfire shooting gets plus one to hit. And then if the target is exposed, something happens. So then... This is the actual crossfire mechanic from Epic, if, which is called Exposed. If right. you expose them and crossfire them, um, you get to add one to wound. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's, what, it's, that's what I want. Add one to yeah. a wound roll or a... And if you're within 12 inches, you also ignore cover. Sure. So a lot more caveats, but man, now actually surrounding your enemy in a crossfire yeah. helps you. Who'd have thought? Super cool. It's brilliant. Do I'm I, excited. So is this a lesson I should learn? Do I just keep whinging and I get what I want? Yeah, more whinging is more good. Um, <laughs> right. That's what I've always heard. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Oh, and this is, this is delicious grease. Not only have they put it in the game, Tom, but they've given it to the faction I have got a painted army for. Yeah, real good. It's, it's perfect. They did it for me. They did it just for you, Ben. <laughs> just it for all me. paid off. You're so good. Oh, delicious grease. Yeah, yeah, I'm hot. And then hot for it. there's some stratagems that also trigger off crossfire. Oh, God. And there's this. Perfect ambush. You can pay 15 points to do a mega thing. That sounds cool. I'm excited. I'm actually looking forward to reading this codex. Mm. Hopefully it's not the worst. Um, and then, lastly, we've got this guy, who I assume you love. No, I don't. Really? I seem to right up your alley. He's... Got, he's weirdly shaped. He's got, like, electro gubbins plugged into him. Yeah, he's... like... I don't know. I don't love it. Wow. Which you think on paper, this should be something I'd love. Yeah. But... And it's just, like, the proportions are, like, too weird. Wow. I'm surprised. But fair enough. You like what you like. Yeah. He's got like what looks like a plasma gun strapped to his furnace. Yeah, that's how he makes his hot thing hot. <laughs> Perfect. Shit, look, he used to be in the guard. That's like a Necromunda regiment tattoo. Or oh, branding. Okay. Mm. We've got this guy. You want to so buy this some guy filter plugs? I <laughs> fucking love. I think this model is awesome. Isn't he nice? So much that... Um, I kind of really want to get them, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to use it as, but I think just taking that head off, putting a Gene Steeler cultist head on, Ooh. instantly makes this person fucking amazing. You don't even need to give them more wacky arms, just yeah. having weird Gene Steeler cultists. I mean, you could just cut his hair off, to be honest, and give him a little purple tinge to his skin if you wanted to. Yeah. He's got the goggles already. <laughs> just, I really like it. I really like them. I think he's super cool, just selling, selling junk. Yeah. Kajit has wares, if you have coin. <laughs> Give him a cat head. <laughs> oh, no, don't do it. Not felonids or whatever the fuck they're called. Please, Ben. Not like this. Someone's already done it. Not like this. I'm sure they have. But yeah, I really like them. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah, he could be some kind of like um, character in a genius cult. They've got a million different characters. I'm sure one of them works. Um, cool. Yeah. And then lastly, we've got some outside of the box stuff. Ooh. We've got this guy. Oh, that looks fucking super rad. Look at that. It's covered in like tribal lizard men with big like javelin holders, mega shields. The thing's got a skull on its head. Oh my God. It's, you're making, it's like a Q-bone. It is like Q-bone. <laughs> you're making it where it's fucking mum's skull. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's there. Mama! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> oh shit. Shit got dark. I love it looks it. red. Like, that's yeah. a fucking awesome model. I really like that. If I was going to expand my Lizardman army, I'd be very tempted. Drop him in as a, as a mega saw thing. Uh, have we seen this guy before? No, but that guy looks amazing. Oh, he's got Sarah Oh, he's Grot. really cool. Oh, Gorilla I like arm. him a lot. He is cool, isn't he? 
only 30 parts. <laughs> I'll tell, tell you. Well, I, God, you make such beautiful miniatures, but I don't need that many pieces. Mm. I don't need that many pieces in my life. Oh, nice. 69 millimeters tall. Oh. That's a sex number. Nice. We've got the Rebel Grot, like, Dreadnought army. Oh, shit. Oh, I love it. Doesn't he look amazing? He can oh, have a chainsaw or a banner. So dumb. Flame, he's got a little winkle tap. <laughs> he's got a fucking penis tap. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he so good? He's like, um, what's that like World War One mech art guy called who did um, the Scythe artwork? Oh, I the, know what you mean. The Iron Harvest game. Yeah. It's like a grot version of those mechs. Yeah. It's got uh, the battle damage like already like sculpted in. He's great. He's, he's so really cool. cool. I love him. Um, these things are weird and, and wacky. They're kind of fun. They're kind of cool. Sure. Uh, who are these lads? Oh, Boxer Rebellion, sure. Okay. Um, and some little two millimeter boys. Ooh, two millimeter. I think I already showed you these off oh, stream, yeah. but I saw them and I just thought, I don't know why, but I love them. Look at these guys. You can get yourself a, a little two mil army of laser cut MDF. Just pop your army right out of the sprue and you're good to go. I'd be down with, so right. Is it? Because it's Roman legions. But do you have to pop every single one of these out, stick them together oh, no. in ranks? For to... the pikes you do, because then you get the nice like 3D pike effect. But for the, these ones, you don't. They're one layer. The Roman legions is just a really? square of voice. And for the barbarians, it's just one layer, pop them out. Bam. It's only the Greeks who get kind of fucked on this. Okay, because when I saw, wait, I have to pop out 100 million things and then glue them together <laughs> perfectly on a... No, we, you've seen me try to build a paint rack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> I just picture seeing you turning up just covered in tiny little bits of wood, like, I tried to build my phalanx. <laughs> but no, the, um, the Romans and the barbarians, I think, look fucking great. Yeah, like, they, really super cool. Oh, I just, I love it. Um, postcard armies. Yeah, I, I, man, I, I'm into it. It's the future, the future of gaming, Tom. They're doing the Parthian shot. Yeah. The C C Canterbury Circle. Yeah. All the wedges. All in their different formation. You could literally just put down... They're so cheap, you could literally buy your whole army twice for pennies and then just swap out them. Now they're going into wedge. and Swap the, yeah, the token yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. So good. Yeah, I, man, I really like them. If you want to get some, I'll get some too, and we can do a thing. Oh, man, we could do like um, Warmaster Ancients. Ooh, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Or Napoleonics. Ooh. Look at that. The wedges, the wagons, everything. They got it all. Oh, chariots. Got chariots. Nice. Yeah, you could do like the Brits Brits versus the Romans. Yeah. In um almost the ancients. That'd be kind of cute. Yeah, I just I like that. Uh you got a little little pooping grot. Nice. <laughs> The the imperial, imperial guard bucket. Nice, okay, love that. <laughs> Do you want to think? Um, I think that's it for this one. And we've got... Uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, that I'm not cool. usually into Infinity, but I do like that mech suit. It's pretty fun. This one's not bad either, actually. Yeah, they're okay. I like them a little less. Uh, this guy... Uh, 18 pieces. That's my guess. <laughs> That's a good guess. Sounds about right. Um, more tiny, tiny boats? Oh, they are kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. I do like tiny toys a lot. Oh, here we are again. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, that's it for that one. I've got this one. Who's got... Uh, these guys, armory servitors. Oh, they're really nice. So look, like this guy's holding a oh, gun. He's cleaning great. a shoulder pad. He's maintaining the backpack, the helmet, the sword. And look, they, instead of legs, they've got like scuttly little yeah. spider trons. Oh, they're cool. They're I really, really cool. like these. I'm really tempted to get some of these for my um, my like fallen angel like night boys. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I like them a lot. You could use them as wound markers or something like that. Oh, that'd be really cool. I think that would work. Uh, There's this guy. 
It looks it's very kind sad. of cool. Kind of, kind of fucking weird. Yeah. Kind of into that. Sure. Uh, this, this guy. Oh, uh, 58 pieces. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> He's not as good as the other guy, I don't think. Or as good as the Dreadnought War Boss. Yeah, but he, it's still nice. Uh, I like these designs. for. Um, oh, like Demon Hosts. Demon Hosts, yeah. Uh, oh, a little oh, mermaid. Oh, Ursula. Mm. Wow. It's kind of fun as a big boss model. Oh, they're cool. Oh, yeah. Victoria Miniatures are always nice. Yeah. Pricey, though. Yeah. And then one more. Uh, we got. All game exclusives got like a tech marine guy. Wow, he looks pretty, pretty cool. They're getting better and better. All game exclusive. They started off hit and miss, but each one I've seen recently is just yeah. Like that mini are really good alternatives. Uh, got these centaurs. Wow, wow. super armored centaurs. Oh, I kind of. You don't see like heavy armor centaurs very often, yeah. do you? Yeah, I like how fucking weird the armor is. They're kind Ooh. of cool, actually. Oh wait, that arms are lances? What? Oh yeah, shit! I hadn't noticed. Yeah, okay. they've just like filed their arm bone into a spike. It looks Oof. like. God, that yeah. sounds prone to infection. <laughs> Holy moly! Is uh, the door calf? Oh. Kind of fun. Oh. Oh, a nude oh. elf. Optional naked torso. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Oh, Got they look great. Guys. Yeah. They're like a bunch of Hellraiser boys. 78 parts. <laughs> but divided amongst six figures. Yeah. That's only 12, <laughs> like 11 parts per model. <laughs> Which isn't that bad. When you think about Space Marine, it's like leg, leg, torso, torso, head, shoulder pad, shoulder pad, backpack, arm, arm, gun. So it's like 11 parts before you put any accessories the on space them. Space Marines come with separate legs? They do now, yeah. Really? Mm. Wow, I haven't built those. So thinking the 11 parts per model is actually not insane. It's a little bit... Uh, Ooh. Is that She-Ra? Yeah. Wow. Who's that guy? Army Man. Army Man. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, oh, he's cute. Like oh. a little flyer guy. Oh, rocking horse. Four. Oh. Some creepy malafoxes. Oh, I also got a hobby horse. Okay. So it must be a new themed group. Oh, these are kind of oh. fucking cool witch hunter guys. Oh, they look great. Yeah, man. I really like the guy with the dogs. Yeah, that's really cool. Hunters. Caster. Wow. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Oh, it's just like a plastic cyberpunk thing. Yeah. Fuck, like that's mix really and match. cool. So I don't think they're plastic, actually. I think they're resin, by the way. Oh, really? Example oh, Industry does a lot of resin. Oh, okay. I like Hypno. Yeah, he looks great. He's my favorite one. Pretty cool. That's it. That's it for the usual suspects. Um, I was on um, here the other day. So I was like, mm. I want to catch up on some like news on Bell of Lost Souls. Oh yeah. Um, uh, so sometimes like use it, use it just like see see what like what's been coming out with um, stuff because I'm not mm. like um, used like over the holiday. I was like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Reddit at all. Mm. I'm not gonna. Like, That's a good plan. Stop it sucking your life away. Yeah. So like I, like I deleted it from my phone because I was like, fuck me, I, like I'm just wasting time. Yeah, I want to be a bit more like productive. Good plan. Um, and was like, oh, I want to come and like just find out what like the role play news is because mm -hmm. um, I only like subscribe to a few things on like Reddit, but like one of the main ones was the role playing thing, just for like what new stuff is coming out. Mm -hmm. But like, if you look at their like their Dungeons and Dragons page, and you're like, it's, okay, it's mainly like character design stuff it's like character design things uh you know what's new in dungeons and dragons mm -hmm. um i hope this isn't gonna like now did they not do other ruin me RPGs. but i was like oh what's the what's on the rpg page and it is 
Oh, there's a Pathfinder one. Okay, that ruined it. <laughs> it was. It's just all basically like just the. Oh fuck. When I checked, <laughs> was it, just, it was it was just all Dungeons and Dragons yeah. articles. Right. I was like, is this all the news? Like, surely not. Surely someone else has done. Yeah, that's disappointing. I mean, to be honest, Battle of Lost Souls is not the best news site. It's just convenient because they round up a lot of miniature yeah, manufacturers. Yeah, like other, other stuff. That's why I like the outside of the box article. Just because they have like more, more things. But everything else is kind of not ideal. I like that they have um, the it, like thing where it says like it. Um, uh, this article takes three minutes to read. <laughs> that so I know I can. Uh, this one might have RPG news for you. Tabletop gaming news. I sometimes check here. Oh really? Because um, mm. you get a lot of like, it filters out some Kickstarters. Okay. Because I don't like browsing Kickstarter because there's so much on there. But just oh a, god, it's an absolute nightmare. But getting a couple of just like, oh, here's the one that you might find interesting. Yeah. There's a lot more, um, a lot more manageable. Yeah, Kickstarter's just impenetrable to like browse now. Mm. Like I don't know how. Um... Yeah, I rely on um, uh, curators for it now. Yeah, to actually like find out, find out what's going on. But yeah, they'll only they'll literally do one one news article or two news articles a day. So this literally you only oh, need to check this okay. site once a week or something. Oh, oh that's unlike Bell of Lost Souls, it does like eight a day, and it's just impossible. Yeah, it's just a pure bombardment of just stuff. Ooh, that's a cool boat. Mm. Wow. So yeah. Uh, we had uh, some more donations have come in. Oh, uh, like this one, one from Groove Wonder. Uh, it just needs five bucks. Thank Groove you. Wonder. And they say Tomb and Bean. Mm -hmm. It's so good to see the international best boys twenty XX back on stream together. Kremlo came from Spain. Nice. Uh, <laughs> there was no Groove end Wonder. to it. It's just yep. Spain. Just went on to the end of time. And DM CK Rogers. Uh, Denise, five bucks. Thank you, DM CK Rogers. Thank you. And they say, uh, just taking our Festark decorations down. Mm -hmm. uh, last day to have them up. Finish some heavy weapon squads over the holidays. Um, I have a link. Apparently, we can now. Can we now post? Post. Who's are? Paste. Are you going to click OK? Yeah. yeah. It was giving me. Oh, stop. Stop there. Bonk. Nice. Uh, and can I see these as well? Maybe. Oh, cool. Got some mortars. Oh, cool. Are they like renegades. Oh, they look like traitor boys. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, I like guard renegades. You don't see them very often. Yeah, renegade guardsmen are awesome. I really hope with the new um, Chaos book mm. that they lean more into that direction. I love Lost in the Damned armies. Like mutants, heretics, traitor guard, led by like a handful of Chaos Space Marines. I think that's always a really cool look for an army. Yeah, um, and like, I just don't want it to be like a, it's just a space marine army, but mm. with more spikes. Mm -hmm. um, That's super boring. Like, give them gun teams, give them power armor guys, more gribbly monsters and weird shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, just mix it way yeah, more. And definitely. not just, it's more space marines in a, just a slightly different flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, that's super boring. Yeah, um, I totally so really agree. Cool. Um, they say, also, some gimmicky dice that we posted to you. I hope they arrived all right. Uh, they have arrived. Yes. Um, here we go. Post. Um, I've, I've seen them. Uh, yeah, they on... arrived near the end of the Jingle Jam, and I popped them on Tom's desk, but we've both been out of the office for a few weeks. Yeah, like this is literally the first time I've been back in the office since... Um... Yeah, like the 15th or whenever it was. No, I was... Because um, you went on streams for the last couple of days, were you? So you, you must have left on like the 10th or the 11th or something like that. Yeah. I think I was in on the Tuesday, the 13th. Mm. I think maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but yeah, had like been out of, um, out of the office for a long time. So I saw those were on the desk. Yeah. They are ridiculous looking. I love it. I love the concept of the game. He's made some like this custom dice rolling game. It's a bit like fives and twos, but with fives added. and two, twos and fours. Twos and fours, plus with a bit of added Don't madness. Roll your eyes at me, <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> um, uh, twos and fours. God, 
It's one of the it best games. Twos and fives where I grew up. What? So we used to play it back home. You're a psychopath. And I just pretended it was fine when I came to Bristol and everyone was playing twos and fours. Twos and, it's twos and fours. <laughs> um, although mm. uh, there's a... Um, I was trying to find find it. Actually, is that uh, twos and fives? Oh, I hope this isn't like... Dice game. Dice game. Uh, there we go. But stuck in the mud, family game self. Look, roll five dice. If a two and a five are rolled, these are stuck in the mud and set aside. The score is zero. The rest of the dice are resolved again. Oh, no, this is different. This Similar is different. but different. Okay. Just like us, Ben. Similar <laughs> but different. Uh, because I was trying to find it. Because I was like... Uh, so I think I've, I feel like I've taught it to a lot of people, and I now know yeah. a lot of people that have since played it themselves. Mm -hmm. But do I remember learning this in old like Games Workshop when I used to go as a kid? Yeah, same here. That's where and I learned it. It was like I've never heard of anyone that didn't go there knowing about this. I was like, did someone make it up there? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was um, weird because like back in the like back in the nineties, there was lots of stuff like that that. Like, everyone knew how to play, like, Shithead, the card game. Yeah. But there was no internet to spread it around. Yeah, exactly. But yet, everyone I'd ever met, when I went to uni, and, like, people who all came from different parts of the country all came to uni, they all knew how to play, but everyone had a slight variation on what the cards did There were some Shithead. minor differences in the rules. Mm. But yeah, Shithead and Ring of Fire yeah. um, were two games that were, like, 90% the same, mm -hmm. but very minor nuance difference. Um and it's kind of amazing how universal they were, just considering there was no internet to spread that just shit how, around. How it moves day. around. Um, yeah, so I found a game which was like it. Oh, yeah. That was called, like, uh, I think it's like Captain Ship Crew, the dice game. Okay. Ship Captain Crew, whatever. So it's l like the same sort of premise, mm -hmm. but um, you can't have a... You have to roll these in order. You play with six dice. So you have to... First, you have to get your ship. Mm -hmm. Boom. If one of your dice is the, the six, then you have to get a five, then you have to get a four, and then you bank the remaining dice. Mm. So it's similar to twos and fours, or twos and fives, if you're from, uh, <laughs> you know, the backwater. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, but you have to do it in the right order. And that's the closest, the closest I could find. I'd be curious to know if anyone else has played twos and fours, mm. or twos and fives. I teach you how to play twos and fours. That's oh, really easy. Grab yourself five dice, and roll oh. them. Um, and basically, you've got to get you're going to get three rolls, or three re-rolls, rather. Although we played it with, um, you have two scoring dice. Mm -hmm. Generally, like, you've got different colored dice. Yeah, they'd, be, they'd both be red. Mm -hmm. And then the other dice would be white, mm -hmm. or whatever. It doesn't matter. They, they're different colors. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you get three rolls, mm -hmm. um, and you're allowed to keep um, any of the dice that you want to. We always played that you had to bank one dice per roll, at least. But you could keep as many as you wanted. Um, oh, yeah, you do have to always bank one. Mm -hmm. um, that's the thing as well. But you can um, keep more. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the highest score as possible on the white dice, mm -hmm. just for simplicity, your scoring dice or your points dice. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, 18 is the highest score. Mm -hmm. And you need to get a two and a four on the two other dice yeah. to um, wow. be able to make your score count. It's much harder segregating the dice like that. We used to just play it with five, you just grab five dice and you can split them. Made it easier to score, I suppose. So yeah, you, you get to roll those five dice, you have to bank at least one, then you roll the remainder and you get three rolls. Um, and if you don't have a two and a four in your dice at the end of the game, you score nothing. Mm. But if you do have a two and a four, then all your other dice add up together to make your score. Right. That's it, basically, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but we used to play this so much. Like, you know, when How you're waiting around. How much can you play it? 
Well, so, but one of the other rules was, like, mm -hmm. like you know, uh, sort of unwritten rule, like, if someone um, scores 18, mm -hmm. it's over. Like, you're not allowed to play anymore. Oh, um, wow, okay. So sometimes it's over real quick then. Yeah, like, it can be done real quickly. Mm. Um, it's great. Oh, <laughs> and the rules for twos and fives are identical, except you have to roll a two and a five instead of a two and a four. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> also, you didn't have the scoring dice. Yeah, that's true. We uh, just played with five of the same dice, so you could pick your two and your five from any of the dice instead of from the specific dice that you had. Yeah, gives you more options, but obviously makes it easier. Yeah. Hmm. Wild. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, Brinty just got 18 first time. Apparently. Me too. I rolled it off camera. You couldn't see. Oh, but I did it too. me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, 90. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. Uh, so easy. <laughs> Um, well, pal, I think this might be a good time for us to wrap it up, seeing as I we've gone off so. on <laughs> just... Just the weirdest, worst topics. Just more boring tangents. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll be back next week, kind of just goofing around, doing some stuff, but the week after... Mmm, fun, exciting new things. Play something else, and the, that stream will probably be a lot longer. Probably. probably be going back to, like, sort of, uh, I love the sort of 11 o'clock streams then. Ooh, I hope so. That'll be fun. Um, so Re a return to form that you might call it a return to form mm. uh, you're saying you're a promised Star Trek I 100% wouldn't have promised that no because I've, I've not watched any Star Trek <laughs> right is um, it over have you had your fling I think I kind of had my fling um, <laughs> uh, I'll get back into it maybe maybe see how it goes yeah uh, like okay, fine. I Ben, I watched an episode. Oh, and yeah. They they were going to do scanning in a sector. Oh yeah. Oh, then what happened? But they didn't, and there was an alien. <laughs> Riker got a bit saucy. Oh, I love that episode. Data and Geordi, they were solving a thing with the engine. <laughs> right. And did they reverse polarities at the last minute? They reverse polarity. They had to fire like um like a sonic wave out of like the front. Bit of the ship. Yep, the deflector array. That's a general um, purpose solve all problems device. Picard had to make this like moral decision. Right. Um, because the replicators, were, they would have to be shut down mm. um, because actually it turns out the alien was a replicator <gasps> the whole time. What? But they managed to solve it peacefully. Mm -hmm. um, Did they also uh, explain the complicated technological engineering problem um, in some kind of easy to understand metaphor about how it w all we did was we made the electricity taste bad, like souring the milk. It, uh, like yeah, that's that's on the firm. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, it's like um, they, they were like they were putting stabilizers on a bicycle. And it was much easier to ride <laughs> right, yeah. and not fall off, and that saved the day. Oh my god. You got that sounds like one of the best episodes. Yeah. I had all it hit all the bells. It was great. Um well, at some point Worf said like that's open fire <laughs> and Picard was like, Shut up, Worf. <laughs> um It was great. Oh, it's like a greatest hits album. Mm -hmm. You did it all. Yeah. Wesley Crusher was in the hollow deck. <laughs> having getting up to mischief probably. <laughs> uh yeah. So that was the episode I watched. It was okay. Sadly, no packlets. Oh when? When are they coming back? When I, I can only hope. I do know they're on in lower decks. Mm -hmm. I do know that. I haven't watched that, but I, I do know that is a thing. Wow! Um, wow! 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 Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll get around to some Star Trek yeah. one day. It's maybe right. no Who rush. Knows? Who knows? I've watched um, Boba Fett. I've not watched Boba Fett. Me neither. I haven't even finished Mandalorian season two. I was so just like <laughs> with it. I'll get around to it one day. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Don't love it enough to actually finish watching it. The Mandalorian. Yeah, I haven't even got to the episode where Boba Fett turns up yet. Yeah. So I don't want to watch his thing. Also, I don't get why everyone loves Boba Fett. He's a nothing character. He's green. He's got cool armor on. He's don't, don't disintegrate them. <laughs> That's the line, right? He's he just he's like the Mister Magoo of Star Wars. He gets himself killed and. He goes, ah, he lets his jetpack off too early and then he falls into a pit. Get him, Dad. He's not, and he says, get him, Dad. <laughs> like, 
of all the things we know about him, none of them are cool. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like everyone's like projected coolness onto Boba Fett. Um, now, yeah, do the backstage um, shot of him in Return of the Jedi. That's the one I want. You've got to Google it because um, of the new Boba Fett show. It's all oh, the new guy. Oh, yeah. There that, he is. <laughs> like anyone who says this isn't Boba Fett, fight me. Um, th- I love this as, like, because he's got the mask. You know, he sounds kind of cool. Yeah. He doesn't talk a lot, just like nods. Mm. And then when he takes it off, he's like, oh, glad to get this off. It's very <laughs> yeah. difficult to breathe in there and I can't wear my glasses. And they're prescription, don't you know? Oh, hello. That's why I've never hit anyone with my blaster. It's why I don't hit people with my blaster. <laughs> Oh, hello, young lady. Would you like a ride on the Slave One? Uh, you know, it's the only fire spray in operation in this sector. Mm. I have seismic bombs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, need to go and collect a bounty. And just puts his helmet back on. The interesting thing about bounty hunting <laughs> is it's a numbers game. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's why I'm so successful. My accounting degree has come very. <laughs> come very I, much I just hand. wear this armor and carry this blaster for show. <laughs> never once hit anyone with it. I've been in three Star Wars films and never shot anyone. <laughs> Boom. It's true. He is the best, and I love him. <laughs> this is this is what Boba Fett is. I don't care about the other stuff. That's fan fiction. This is real. <laughs> this, this is, is in the originals. Um, so much better. Oh. Um, so yeah, love him. He's my favorite. So good. Yeah. Also, like the the ladies love him as well. Of course they do. He's a cool boy. Yeah. He does all their taxes for them. <laughs> he, does the, he does the space taxes. Space tax is hard. Space Have tax you seen is their hard. fucking numbers? They're all just like... Just random. squiggly wogglies, are they? Impossible. <laughs> Impossible to tell. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we gotta, we got to get out of here. we got to go. Um, but we will be back next week with more goofing. Yeah. I more will... tr- spitting more truth about Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> if everyone's very well behaved, I'll try and watch a Star Trek. Ooh, what a treat. Better try. be a good one or you'll be put off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> uh, donos are not red. We've read the donos. We've read all the donos. You say mean things like that about us. I'll give it a refresh. Nope. All nope. good. We read them all. Um, yeah, we did it. Um, so yeah, we'll be back next time. Um, stay tuned. Mm, we'll see you next week at five. Farewell, everyone. Farewell. Oh, I'm back tomorrow. You can oh. watch um, me streaming all on my own oh. on my channel Whoa. tomorrow at five. Oh. Twitch.tv slash bedgers. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> see you tomorrow or next week. <laughs>